everybody, couple of changes. Number one, I got a new microphone. So fingers crossed it's not too quiet. It's day one using this thing, so <laughs> I don't know yet. We'll see. I'm not really sure. We're gonna have to do some experimenting today. Okay, I think we should be good to go though. Um, anyway, hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. We're gonna work on our, our uh, blue suburbia, as we say. You are quiet? Mm, that's good, because I can't change it. So, <laughs> that's not actually ideal at all. I don't want it to be visible. Um, yeah, okay. <sighs> this is Duck Dan's fault. Hold on. I can't, I don't know how to speak. I don't know what he did. Well, now I just whispered too, so that's not gonna help. <laughs> anyway, hi everybody, welcome back. It's, it's the microphone's fault, not mine. Um, <laughs> are you live? I forgot to set it up as new. What does that even mean? We may have to do a little bit of, um, there may be a little bit of us trying to troubleshoot this today. So, uh, bear with me. <laughs> we may have to troubleshoot this in the beginning of the stream. <laughs> so... <laughs> So sorry, everybody. This might become like a bit of a process. <laughs> I thought it was fine, and now I'm learning that it is not. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me see if I can fix this. Try and get my apps open. Um. Okay. 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 Um. Mic. I put it up to. I think we had it up to like this high before. How is that? That's louder, but I don't know if it's too crunchy. So, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> I can't hear it. <laughs> Thanks a lot to Dan, because look, this is my old mic. That's not gonna work. It's not even plugged in. It's not even installed on the mic arm. <sighs> anyway, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> you don't think it's crunchy? Okay. Well, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, we set this up yesterday, so um, I haven't recorded anything with it yet. Um, so this is kind of new to me. No crunch, just louder? Okay, that's good. I turned the gain up, so sometimes it means the, it does get crunchy. Okay, well anyway, um, life update. Today, we are going to work on building our blue suburban neighborhood that we started a couple days ago. Um, so we'll do that today. Oop, you can't see it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I got a new mic. Um, this is the Shure SM7B. I don't know if you can hear it when I touch it. She's shiny. Oh, I should be careful. I'm gonna mess with the monitor. I can't show you. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I can't show you. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Um, we're gonna decorate the houses. Yeah, so we have to work on a lot of the exterior still um, and a lot of decorating. So we have a lot to, to do today. A lot to do today. We started working on this on Saturday. It is literally a set of four houses all on one lot. So, um, yeah, Julian, there wasn't a YouTube video today because I've been extremely busy. <laughs> if only you guys knew. I w well, I could talk about it, I guess. When I open my mouth, you have to promise, promise me that you're not going to freak out. Do you understand? We're going to make a collective goal to not freak out, okay? Yeah? I was busy today because I went to tour a wedding venue. <laughs> um, so I wasn't around. <laughs> I was kind of busy. So I didn't post on YouTube today. But you said you wouldn't freak out, so stop. <laughs> you promised. Anyway, that's what I was doing, so I didn't post on YouTube today. Um, not anytime soon, obviously. You plan these things so far in advance, but... Um, yeah, that's why I, that's where I was. <laughs> so, yay, fun! It was good. I, I'm still touring one more that I'm trying to decide between. Um, and I think I like the other one better that I haven't been to yet. I don't want to tell you too much about them because I'm not trying to, like, leak it, right? But, anyway, we'll see. <laughs> I felt good about this one. The other one that I like better is cheaper. And I like it better, so, fingers crossed. <laughs> you know? Fingers crossed the other one is uh, as good as I hope that it will be because it's also cheaper. So that's a win. <laughs> what does that mean? You are getting married? Well, I already am married. Um, in fact, I've been married for two years. 
<laughs> but we we got married during COVID and like uh, because of the whole visa thing. So we didn't have like a wedding and I would like to have a wedding. So anyway, I'm at a stage in my life now where I feel comfortable actually planning a wedding. So, um, but I, I am wedding and I have been for a while, so. <laughs> Did I say I am wedding? I am married. What am I talking about? Anyway, um, that's what's happening. So <laughs> that's what I was doing earlier. No, not in the UK. We talked for a while about wanting to do the wedding in the UK, but then I got really stressed. This we made this decision like a year ago that we didn't want to do it in the UK anymore. The original thought was like, oh, we'll do it in the UK. But then I was like, the thought of trying to plan a wedding there is incredibly distressing to me. Like, it's so much easier for me if it's local. So much easier if it's local. So, not anymore. <laughs> I am wedding. <laughs> anyway, that's what I was doing today. So, um, kind of exciting stuff. Find a venue with cow plants. Nice! That would be interesting. <laughs> I think we'll have- we're gonna have a ceremony and a reception. Um, I don't know. I, maybe that's a little, like, cringe to do it when you're already married, but I don't really care and it's important to me. So I always wanted to have a wedding wedding. We just couldn't because of like COVID and like with the timing, like when Dan came here on his visa, we did the, you've all heard of the show, the 90 day fiance show. We had, we got a K1 visa and like, you don't know when you're gonna get the visa. And when you, when you get it, you have to get married within 90 days of him coming here. And you wanna do that on like the sooner end of that because then you can file like adjustment of status papers faster so we can get his green card faster. So it was like a multi-year visa process and you can't really plan a wedding because you don't know when it's gonna be. Like, it's just not really feasible. Plus it was COVID, so like the borders were closed and Dan's family couldn't even come. Um, so like my parents were there, but Dan's family couldn't be because of the borders and stuff being closed with the pandemic. So anyway, I'd like to have a wedding, wedding still. <laughs> um, so that's where we're at. That's what I was doing today. <laughs> Yeah, see, I agree that it's not cringe, but people have, like, really traditional opinions about weddings, I guess. Um, people have, like, really strong opinions about it. Um, but I don't really care, and it's about me, right? Our chat invited? <laughs> I think we have room for, you know, all few thousand of you all, right? <laughs> no. I think I'll hire a videographer, though, and post a video on YouTube of it. Like, you know, other YouTubers do? Listen, you guys, I'm gonna be blunt with this. Those videos... You've all seen them. They get a lot of views. You gotta pay for the wedding somehow. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but I would I would like to post something on YouTube for you all. Um, I think that would be nice. So it wouldn't be about the money. <laughs> it's probably gonna be like copyright music or something. It'd be more just for fun so that you all could see some stuff. Um, I think that would be kind of cute. And it wouldn't be my job. I'd hire someone, so. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Do I have a dress? No, 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 no. We wanted to figure out a venue first so we could get a date set and like book that and then start worrying about everything else was kind of the idea. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I played my wedding stories in real life. <laughs> yep, that's the spirit. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna change my last name. I or I didn't change my last name. I wouldn't change it now. Um, that's not my. That's not my plan. Um, get my editor to do it. <laughs> it's not my problem, but it can be Dan. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, I wouldn't change my name. I don't really care about that, so. And I like my, my name. Um, okay, so anyway, let me, let me show you guys around the build. Uh, we've been working on this, at, well, for like one day. It's a neighborhood of four blue suburbans. The idea is that it's a blue suburban neighborhood. <laughs> It's blue suburbia. Um, so it's a set of four different houses. They're all slightly different on the outside. They all have like little driveways and garages and their own backyards. Uh, and there's kind of like a street down the middle. Um, and what we need to do today is start working on all of the interiors. Obviously we've done like most of the exteriors and the layouts and figured all of that out. But now we have to start properly furnishing these things because we have so many. Um, but in the back of the lot, we're gonna have, we only have a little bit of space. We're gonna have like a tiny park space back here for some kids stuff to be put down. We haven't really decorated it yet, clearly. We're just kind of thinking about layout. They have their mailboxes here. Um, so that's kind of what we're thinking with this build. Um, is there a tile floor for roads? Uh, I guess depending on how you look at it, this is the tried and true tarmac. And then I'm using the, what is that called? 
glamour tough stained concrete as the sidewalk, but there's not really like a road road, you know? Um, it's kind of just down to what you want to do. And yeah, I have put a version on the gallery already. I wouldn't, um, it's not done, but people were begging me on Saturday. So uh, I did upload this on, on Saturday for you if you wanted to download it right now, because I know some people want to play with it, so. Isn't the hopscotch cute? We're gonna add some more stuff outside too. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And these little road markings, these are the foot illumination system. These are like little road marking things. They're actually supposed to be um, from, they're, well, they're from spa day. I think that people use them in pools a lot as like pool lighting. They do light up at nighttime, which is maybe a bit weird that they glow, but it looks pretty good in the road. So um, that's what I like. <laughs> I think it's cute this way. Um, Anyway, that's what we've been doing. So let me real quick thank some people for subs and stuff because I got very distracted talking about too many other things and then we'll get back to this. <laughs> Amy and Fairy's Cottage and Anna and Marty with a thousand bits and Claudia and Black Rose and Tommy and Buffy. Uh, we got MJ and Burger and Experts and, and Boogie and Mans and Sam and, and Morg with the subs. Tiny Scout with the gifted subs. Uh, Lottie, Rosebud, Daisy, Michaela, Manchella, Tiny uh, and Ray and Brandy and Buffy and Evo and Hannah and Wendy and Emily and Super and Sabrina and Lady and Ketchum and Darcy and Hopeless. How much did I talk? Oh my god. <laughs> Gloomy, Foggy, Little, Fuck's Face, Hannah, Miss Jane, and Mar, and M, and Isabella, and Unicorn, and Rachel, and Aurelia, and Heather, and Spaghetti, and Charlie. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, everybody. Thank you so much for all of your resubs. Um, I'm close to f catching back. Oh, I lost my place. Uh-oh. Little, Beeline, Embers, Kathleen, Philip, and Mexi, and Turtles, and Tango, and Beth, and uh, Chuka, and Kate, and Judith, and Starfall, and Deb, and Georgia, and Benny, and JC, and Peach. There we go. Thank you all so much for the subs. The other thing that I wanted to ask you guys about, this is a favor that I could use. So, um, we are doing in later this month, like in a couple of weeks, um, I am going to do a live stream from St. Jude, like a charity fundraiser at St. Jude. It's gonna be like a one day, couple hours thing. Um, and it's pretty exciting. This is like a soft launch, okay? I've told some of you guys about this before, but this is like a soft launch announcement, but that's the idea. And what I need help with is because when we go there, my parents are coming um, and we're gonna do like a Sims Jeopardy game again, like we did last year, but it's gonna be a little bit more produced because they have like a camera crew who's gonna help with it. Um, and so I have been writing all of the questions out and like making a list of the questions, but I wanted to like throw it out to you guys in case anybody had any other suggestions. So I made a channel in the Discord server. It's called Sims Trivia Suggestions. In announcements, I linked to it so it's easy to find. And I also linked to last year's trivia game so you can see it. Um, the idea is that I don't want to like copy last year's trivia game, obviously. Um, I can show you the game from last year. It was just like in a PowerPoint. Um, I want it to be a little bit different. Uh, the categories were like Sims basics, deaths, townies, gameplay. There was a true or false category. There was a weird category. And a lot of the questions are quite easy. Like how many Sims games are there? What's this called? Like we're, we're talking like real basic, basic, basic questions um, because my parents don't know anything about the Sims. So stuff that seems very obvious to you, that's the kind of thing that I'm looking for. Um, not so much like trick questions or tricky questions because it's for my parents. I have quite a few written already, but it wouldn't hurt to like pull it out to you all because maybe you have some that I didn't think of. So if you're interested in trying to like help me brainstorm, I did make that channel in the Discord server um, and that would be helpful to me if you had any good ideas um, so we could throw it in there. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's just what I wanted to mention so that way we I could get some help with it. Um, but I don't want to have like too many, I'm okay with maybe a couple repeat questions if it would be funny, but I, in an ideal scenario, I don't want to have any repeat questions from last year. So just, you know, we've got to be careful of that. So that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> I have to send those questions in because one of the people who works for St. Jude, they have like a production team that works there because they do like a lot of um, like outreach and stuff, right? Um, and he's like big into games like this and he literally has like a Jeopardy game that he's used before and I have to send him the questions so he can input them. Um, so <laughs> uh, we gotta be, we gotta be ready for these. Uh, but that's not until later this month. That will be, I'll tell you the exact date. Um, that will be on Monday the 22nd. So kind of coming up fast. Um, yeah, easy questions again, because my parents don't know much. We gotta have like, you know, 
know the audience, right? <laughs> Stuff that seems really obvious to us, but like, they don't know anything, you know? So we need to adjust it for them specifically. <laughs> but I'll do like a bigger announcement of the exact day soon. This is a soft launch, so I need help, but. Anyway, that's all of I, all the stuff I had to tell you. <laughs> Desire, and Micro, and Jewel, and Cray, and Yuka, and Victoria, and Coffee, and Mommy, and Eves, and hey there, thank you for the subs. Um, it's the 22nd, Kayla, it's a Monday, the 22nd of January. Um, can we do multiple choice questions? I don't think that we should do multiple choice questions because technically, like with how Jeopardy works, the way that Jeopardy works is they give you the answer and then the answer to the thing is the question. So you would like, they would give you like a, a sentence and the question would be like, um, okay, who who is the famous family who owns, or the question is like, the famous family that owns a ton of land in all the, across all the Sims franchise games. And then the answer would be, what is the land grabs or who, you know, who are the land grabs or whatever you have to, the answer is a question. Anyway, it's Jeopardy, that part doesn't matter. It just, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. I'm so all over the place right now. <laughs> anyway, should we start working? Which house do you want to do first? We have four to pick from. I will take death by what? For 200. <laughs> See? You get it. <laughs> Why do you have to answer as a question? I don't know. It's just how the game works, I guess. Maybe we should start here and go around, like in a circle. Is that better? I don't know. Boss Lady and G and Merlin and Alex and, and Alyssa, thank you for the subs. I think we start with this one. This one is like the blue suburban to end all blue suburbans. I picture this one as being like the most classic of the blue suburbans, like the generic kind. So maybe it would be good to do this one first um, as our starting point. Cause it's like the blue suburban, you know? I think that's a good idea. Coffee, thank you for the sub. Is it Texas shaped too? It is. It always is. They aren't all. Of course this one is. It's like a Texas jump scare. Every time you open one of my builds, whoa, it's Texas. <laughs> the thing is, it's just a, it's a useful shape for the Sims. It's always Texas. You have to be inspired. Thank you for the gifted subs. Oh my God, I'm embarrassed. Um. <laughs> okay, okay, shall we begin? Where's my, oh, here's my water. There we go. We'll start there, actually. I could use some water first. Okay, anyway, let's begin. So obviously, step one, we have a garage. Uh-oh, move objects on first. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Move objects on. Okay, so we're gonna have the garage. And then when you come in, Anyone having problems with past broadcasts? Oh, like it's not letting you watch the VODs right now? That's not on my end. It might just be like a, a generic Twitch glitch that's happening, um, which probably isn't helpful to you, but it, it may just be like a generic Twitch glitch. So you might just have to give it some time um, and then it'll come back. Um, I know that's not helpful, but there might just be a weird Twitch bug happening at the moment. Um, okay, this can be a bathroom. How come I don't have better build by? I don't really use any build mods. Um, I only use a couple of mods. Most of the gaming that I do in The Sims 4 is like uh, vanilla, not really any mods because I try to make it like easily followable by the average person who doesn't know how to get mods, maybe plays on consoles so they can't have mods. I, I just kind of play The Sims vanilla these days. Um, for the most part, I don't even really use any custom content. So um, hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking over here, I gotta start laying this out a little bit. Um, so, over here, I'm picturing the kitchen, right? And then maybe the living room could go, oh, maybe not like that. Maybe it could be this way instead. I don't really want the kitchen island to be like that though. Uh-oh, this is a weird shaped house. 
That's a weird shaped house too. We might have to split it up a little bit more. Maybe if I did it like this, it would be better. Because they'd have like, oh no, wait. What if it was like, kind of like that? No, that just gives us a lot of hallway. Oh no. Oh no. Let me think upstairs quick. <laughs> um, Elisha, Rosanna, thank you for the resubs. Ark and Lydian and Kira, thank you for the subs. Emoji and, and Watcher and Teacher and, and Little with the sub gifts. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Upstairs, maybe there could be like... Well, we could have, I guess, a bathroom here. Sort of. And that might be okay. And then... Um, perhaps we split this up just a bit. Part of me wants to have there be like a nursery here, but that does kind of complicate things with this section of the house. It's my game laggy. Yeah, it is being a little bit laggy right now. It's kind of annoying. Um, okay. So that gives us an extremely weird shaped bedroom. <laughs> Maybe that could be a closet or something. Um, and then three, three bedrooms upstairs. I don't know. Diagonal wall. Oh, we could do a diagonal wall. I don't really, um, you want me to like make it bigger? I guess this one is going to be the primary bedroom, so. I don't know, sometimes diagonals aren't so good for this because it makes like this room kind of a weird shape. Um, so I don't know. We can decide once we actually start furnishing it. Sometimes it's better to do the layout first. Yeah, I think a closet would be nice. I like that idea too. Okay, so in here we'll get some pretty simple doors. And that'll be nice. Yeah? Two kids' bedrooms, one primary bedroom. They have downstairs, this is the bathroom, and that's the garage door. Maybe a real closet, like the, the actual ones? That's kind of what I'm thinking too, is that we can maybe use this one. But we could do it in like a fun color, because it's gonna be a kids' bedroom. So we could get away with doing it like, honestly, it could be like yellow. You know, um, make the hallway flat and the primary bedroom bigger. Well, that that would break off our closet. I kind of like this the shape that we have going on. I think this is fine for now. Um, I don't want to mess with it too much. Okay, so like we had discussed, this house is like the blue suburban to end all blue suburbans. So I am feeling as though the inside needs to be blue. <laughs> I think we have to, without a doubt, we have to make the inside blue on this one. Like, we just don't really have a choice. It's a necessity, you know? Um, Bella, we haven't, we haven't organized the next Among Us stream yet. We will soon, but we haven't organized the next Among Us stream yet. At least not just yet. Um, even a blue suburban on the inside. Yeah, not all of them have to be blue, but if we're gonna go for this whole blue suburban meme thing, like, come on. This one at the very least has to be blue. <laughs> if we're gonna go to great lengths with this meme, we, we gotta commit. Maybe I'll have this wrap around the side like this. No, the shell and the houses, neither of them are base game. Um, there's actually quite a few packs that get used in here, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna allow myself to scoot that one over just cause it looks better from the inside. Um, yeah, it's like all one big lot of blue suburbans using the new rent pack. That's what we're doing. <laughs> we're um, really, really taking advantage of the rent pack with this one. <laughs> um, Feline, we're not going to budget with every single house, but I think I will do a small amount of budgeting with, like, the houses generally, I guess. So what I mean by that is like, I, I don't really want to do, um, 
like all of them cheap, but I might make one of them kind of cheap, one of them kind of expensive. You know, we'll, we can have like a, a slight variety in pricing on these. This one's not gonna be cheap, clearly. I just use really expensive appliances. So, hi Christine, how are you? That's a lot of blue. Oh, you think this is bad? <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> just you wait. <laughs> Turkey, thanks for the five months. And Claire and Yoles and Control and Lola and Vibrant, thank you for the sub too. Blue overload, yeah, seriously. Um, okay, do you think I should have... Like, maybe a... Uh... Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to think if I want to, um... Oh, you know what we might try to do? Hold on, here's a new idea. This involves switching up the upstairs a little bit. I might swap it so that... Oh, that doesn't really work. I was trying to envision that maybe the kids' bedroom could go back there, but... Bad idea, Never mind car should also be blue. We did red because we wanted to have some accent colors because everything, all of the houses are blue on the outside. So we did do the red on purpose so that we could have a little bit of an accent color going on. <laughs> uh, that, that part was intentional. Um, okay. Yeah, Queen Diamond, I put all my bills in the gallery. We put all them on the gallery so that people can use them. Always. Um, Okay, so I guess what I'm picturing is that the living room will be kind of along this. Obviously not with these particular furniture pieces, okay? <laughs> but I'm picturing the living room being something kind of like, maybe like that. And then we could have the TV on this wall. Maybe that won't be there, maybe I'll go back here. That could be kind of nice. And then we have a space for a dining table in here too. I think this is a, a decent enough layout. It's actually not as big as you think it is upon first glance. Okay, that could work. That could work. Let's find a blue rug. That rug was from um, the new rent pack, actually. It does have a blue swatch <laughs> if we wanted to use it, but um, I don't know. Does that work for in here? I was thinking about getting one that had a little bit more of a, at least in this one, I wanted to have a bit more of an accent color. We can definitely use that rug somewhere because that has major blue suburban vibes. <laughs> Dang, thanks for so much. Me and the cats are doing really good. Me and the cats are doing really well. Yesterday, Sunny has gone through a lot of phases this week. <laughs> she's, she's had like a tremendous amount of growth in her desire to cuddle this week. Like, like, she's gotten on the couch and started cuddling on the couch for the first time ever, twice now. Her brother does a lot, but she doesn't. Snap always does. Sunny just doesn't really sit on the couch. Well, she's realized that she likes the couch, so she's been on there a couple times. Um, we've discovered also that Sunny is really bad at kneading. You know how cats, like... Usually when shrimp and snap do it, they're very like slow and they're like using their fingers like this, like like very gently going like this. Sunny, when she needs, <laughs> she's like so aggressive when she's trying to knead. I keep making fun of her because I keep joking about how she's like, she's not as good at like being a cat as the other cats are. Like she's, she's not very, she's not really all ready yet to be a cat. Um, she's real quick when she's baking her bread. Um, but also, she really likes, as the past couple nights, she wants to be under the covers in the bed. So she like tries to dig around to find the entrance of the covers so she can go under the covers in the bed. <laughs> so that's what she's been up to. She's been um, acting a little funny <laughs> recently. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of cute. Um, I, always, I always joke about her and maybe it's not very nice of me, but I always joke about her and how she's like not, so, so good at being a cat yet. <laughs> She's a little weird. She's a little strange one. <laughs> She's an interesting, interesting kitten. So. <laughs> She's learning. She's learning is all. Don't worry. She'll get there. Um, I think I like this rug. We can use this one in a different one of the houses because I do like that rug, but I like how this one has some extra color accents. You know? 
If we want to reach peak suburbia, we have to do an ocean themed bathroom. Oh my God, one of the houses should be beach themed. Probably not this one, but we should make one of the houses like beach themed. <laughs> That's kind of a cute idea. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. We can have one of them be kind of beachy. Maybe like, I don't know. Maybe this one could be kind of beachy themed on the inside. Very live, laugh, love. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, the kittens are about seven months old now. My two kittens. So they're getting big. Um, okay, I don't know what couch to use. Hmm. But you know how a lot of people like to have like, you know, very beachy furniture? We'll do that with one of them on the inside. <laughs> Chloe and Love and Poopal and Aaron, thank you for the subs. Okay, I don't know. Is Snap getting closer with the kittens? Yeah, she's not like, she doesn't like hiss at them anymore at all, really. Unless they try and touch her, then she kind of is like, whoa. But not really hissing, she kind of, she'll like do a like slight growl to imply back off. Um, but she doesn't, they don't, like, argue, you know? Okay, I don't know what to use. Maybe we should do, like, I don't know. I want a couch that looks comfy, but not like the university couch, because that one's too much. I want it to be, I want like this vibe of a couch, but in a cuter color. That's why I end up using this one a lot. Cause it's very simple, plain. But it's nice for these purposes. Ooh, what if we tried to make the whole place kind of like blue and this peachy color? Hmm. <laughs> I'm just glowing the for the subs. I like that. That could be good. You saying argue? I know the, the image of cats arguing is funny, but you kind of get what I mean, right? Like, Snap, um, she doesn't want the kittens to get too close to her. <laughs> so. I don't know. Um, I think I like the peach colored couch with that rug. And then if we had some blue accents on the walls. Yeah, Snappy wants her personal space and I get it. I mean, she's old and the babies are babies. So they're annoying. It's fine. I understand where she's coming from. <laughs> she has her boundaries, you know? This is the beach thing I was talking about. I feel like, I almost feel like maybe this house could be, maybe this house could be the beach house. Dare I say. It actually fits really nicely in here. So maybe it could be. Obviously, it's not actually a beach house. What it is, is a house that belongs to a sim who has decorated it in a beachy fashion. You know, it's not, it's not actually a beach house. <laughs> it's just a person who is really into the beach that has decorated it sort of beachy. That's kind of what I mean by that. We can get this thing, set of linens. That comes in a nice blue swatch. I don't know. Are there any seashells? Um, there's a handful of things. I don't know, they also have this like red accent. So it's possible that we could do this beachy thing somewhere else because you know what else could work really well for this? If we wanted to try and match the flowers, there's a, um, let me show you the combo because we could always use this rug in a different one. We have four houses to furnish. So we're not like, you know, stuck with whatever. We have a bunch of options. This rug comes in, please hold, this swatch which kind of matches the flowers if we wanted to do something like that. And that might be kind of an interesting way to bring in. I mean, when you call it the America rug, it gives me the ick a little bit, but <laughs> it um, it's an interesting way to bring in some different colors that I maybe normally wouldn't gravitate towards. 
Um, cause I never would normally use this, you know? Uh, I actually don't really like it that much, but there's a couple interesting, like look at that couch with it, you know? There are genuinely a couple interesting items that may be kind of fun to fit in that are just different from what we would normally go for, or at least from what I would normally go for. Um, anyway, calling it the America rug, again, kind of gives me the ick, but <laughs> if you don't think about it like that, it, it's not as bad. <laughs> um, desert Lux, okay. We can get some pretty curtains up here too, perhaps. And that might be nice. Um, in a nice light color too, I don't know. Okay, so the beachy thing is out for this house. A different one has to be beachy. Someone said old navy vibes. <laughs> okay, I actually can kind of see that. I can see that. <laughs> Tina, thanks for the prime sub. Katie, thank you for the gifted subs. And Kit Kat and Angie, thank you for the subs. Oh, Brew is being really careful. Just so you all know, Brew loves men, loves America. Um, just j Twitch, did you hear that? <laughs> Twitch, are you getting that? Good, okay. <laughs> um, I wanted to see about, what, what pack is it from? I was thinking about this thing. This is very much kitchen shelf vibes, but it is kind of interesting. I don't know if it's interesting in a way that is fun for us, but it's certainly interesting, I would say. I don't know. Oh, this could be good too. Oh, we can decorate this with a lot of cool kitchen stuff. I don't use the cool kitchen things that often. This could be cool. Okay. <laughs> Polar bear, you got into med school today. Oh my God, congratulations. Uh, it's Morley with the 69 months. <laughs> Grew with the prime sub, Tegan with the prime sub. Thanks everybody. Um, that's very exciting, everyone. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, um, big plant. Big plant, somehow, some way. Maybe I could try this one. I don't use that one very often. It could be interesting next to the couch, perhaps. Just got here, what are you building? Um, it's an entire neighborhood of four houses and I have furnished about two steps of the first house. <laughs> We are, we are merely just beginning at the minute. Um, that's what we're up to. Okay. Um, some sort of table. I guess that one might be okay for where the TV will go. Trash can. I didn't forget the trash can. I just haven't really decorated the kitchen yet. I'm kind of going one step at a time. It might look like I've decorated the kitchen, but actually what I've done is, um, just go through and place stuff that I liked as I saw it, but I haven't really decorated it yet. So <laughs> it's not that I didn't forget. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and add more. I just haven't done it yet. Um, so I, we will get one, we will get to it. I'm doing the living room first and just putting things as I find them. It's kind of the vibes. So nobody panic, okay? She says that a little bit too late. Everybody has already been panicking in the, in the Twitch chat, so. Is there an upper cabinet glitching? No, I put it like this on purpose. Um, this couch is from the paranormal stuff pack. If you like it, it's kind of fun. Have I saved? Uh, barely, but I will, just to be safe. Uh, Bennett, Diana, thank you for the resubs. Okay. Um, yeah, I've never really thought about using this shelf in the living room either. I don't know if it's bad in the living room, that shelf, because it does, like, it, look, I can see, it, it really has kitchen vibes a little bit, but I don't think that that's necessarily a problem, like, I, I think it's kind of okay and fine. It's a, it's the cool kitchen shelf, and it, to me, it clearly has, like, kitchen supplies on it, but it's The Sims, so you have to make do a little bit with what you have, and and try to use things in maybe ways they weren't originally intended. So that's what I'm gonna do. I shall try to use things in ways they weren't intended. Um, 
That's like a very traditional looking lamp. Maybe I could do it in blue. The red couch is from the, um, ooh, I don't like that. The red couch is from the paranormal stuff pack. It's kind of a good one. Okay. Scoot that back just a bit. Um, your house had maroon carpet and, oh, I thought you said and maroon couches. I was like, both? Maroon carpet and blue couches is kind of fun. I kind of like it. Um, I was gonna look at the everyday clutter kit. Uh oh, sorry. I didn't mean to yawn everybody. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, don't do that one. Maybe just get something simple like, we have a little magazine stack that could be cute enough. I don't know. Yeah, as soon as I yawn, everyone in chat starts yawning too. And then we're really in for it. Okay. Okay, maybe Miranda, thank you for the prime sub. Let's get some lights too. Perhaps a base game one. I don't know. Okay. We're coming along. This is this is kind of working. Um okay. Let's see. Subscribe for the lack of commercials. Yeah, not having ads is a massive perk. Um, I wish that there was a way to give nobody ads on Twitch, but unfortunately the reality is they will feed ads to people on Twitch. Um, and, and if you pay to subscribe, uh, you both pay because you're supporting me, but also it buys your way out of ads because a cut of that gets sent to Twitch. Um, and I'm able to disable ads for subscribers. So um, that's kind of a bonus too, is that you don't get ads if you're subbed. Um, I know they're annoying. Trust me. <laughs> I, I know. Um, okay. Also, if you have, uh, Amazon Prime, they do give a free sub, um, every 30 days to people that have Prime, so. Um, that is something. I guess if you're not using that, make sure you use it at least somewhere on Twitch. Um... Do you guys think it's okay if I scoot that back a little bit and then get like a fireplace of some sort? Because I think a fireplace may honestly be kind of cute, potentially. I don't know. We could have built-in bookshelves next to it. That does make the TV very high up, but I don't really care about that because it's not like Sims care. Um. Oh no. That does complicate things just a bit. It certainly does. Petition for you to put a steamboat on the mantle. Oh, maybe I should. If we're calling this the most classic of the blue suburbans, it kind of needs to have a steamboat in the mantle. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> it's a, a nod to uh, many years ago when I first started my YouTube channel. <laughs> Used to put the little River Queen paddle boat everywhere. Um, we can put it like in the shelves maybe, because I don't really want to block the TV with it. Okay. Other sorts of little plants that we can add in, perhaps? I like the boat, honest. I think the boat is kind of cute. <laughs> I really do like it. Um, I guess we could use this on the table, too. I really like that item. I always thought this was so nice. Okay, Mickey, Crestfallen, Chipper, and Shelb, and Fia, and Olivia, and Scree. Thank you for the stones, everybody. Okay, um. Maybe like, what is this class in? That's not, it doesn't even fit in the, um, doesn't show up as obviously. Your message conflicts with channel rules, you're not sure what you said? I don't know what you said either because I can't see it, but it was probably nothing. Sometimes, um, we have quite a few words blocked 
on Twitch, and then on top of it, sometimes they add blocked words that I didn't add, so... It is entirely possible that you did not say anything bad at all, and it's still getting uh, picked up and held back by Twitch, so... Um, don't even worry about it too much. <laughs> okay, uh, I wanted to look at the greenhouse kit, because I want this little plant. Would I be allowed to use Stanley in my save file? Oh, like you want to put Stanley in a save file you're putting up for download? I don't really care. Um, people re-upload my stuff, my builds and my sims all the time. Not to say that it's not, it's a good thing, but <laughs> it's like I'm not really a stranger to people uh, re-uploading my stuff on the gallery, so it doesn't really matter to me that much. Um, good to ask permission if you wanted to put Stanley in something though. But yeah, you can do that, I don't really care. Um, okay. I think that's kind of, oh, that's clipping, oops. I think this is kind of cute. It's cozy in the kitchen. You use Stanley as a tester sim for when you're building? Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Sophia, thanks for the four months. Um, okay. You remade the house for my recent video. Oh, did you? How did it go? Did it turn out nicely? Um, did you like it? Was it helpful? <laughs> These are all important questions. Um, okay. Um, that's nice. Yeah, good general rule of thumb is obviously to like, as you know, to not really re-upload people's content on the gallery, but, um, you know, if you want to put Stanley in your save file. Oh, besties, I don't mind. Stanley is, uh, he's a legend. He, he transcends everything, so. He's something special. Um, I don't like that at all, actually. Maybe no curtain? Oh, no, 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 the growing together ones are good for this. This seems like the kind of curtain that you would hang low. Maybe I will put it all the way up, though. Something like that, perhaps. Blue fridge from Parenthood. Well, the problem with the fridges from Parenthood is they're a little bit taller than this one is. So it always kind of bugs me. What are the origins of Stanley? There's not a really good story to this. Um, the origin of Stanley is, <laughs> I I was trying to make a real quick uh, sim to use for like a random test, and I randomized his name and put him in a hot dog costume. Guys, I didn't even really like, I didn't really make him. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I'll give him a different pair of sunglasses for every outfit. Like it was just kind of like a, let me real quick, five minutes make a sim. And then, you know, here we are, I guess. Um, <laughs> this could probably become this little tiny one tile wide space. If we really wanted it to, that could potentially become a closet. I don't know how worried I am about that, but if I really wanted it to be, this could have like, um, cleaning supplies or something in it. We do have in this house a um, a garage. So we don't need to put laundry in this nook. I might put a washer dryer in the garage though. But sometimes it's fun to have an actual closet in the house. Cause we could put like the broom in there. We could get the, I guess the decor box is better for the garage though. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of cleaning supplies. Oh, you know what we could get is the vacuum. I never put those. It comes in red even. That could be fun. Put a little light there. I like that. Cleaning, okay. Um, so this house is actually smaller than you might think. <laughs> I may take this space back because I, I kind of want to put the, um, the dining table here. I'd like to have a bigger one. Okay. Maybe something like, oh, I don't know. You know what this comes with? <laughs> this does have a matching swatch, I assume. Maybe I'll use that for our patio table. Just as like a fun nod to the rug. 
You'd love a round one? We can do round. Um, I don't, I might only put four chairs on it though. If we do a round table. I don't really like how these tables look when they have six chairs. So I, I just warn you now. I have weird opinions about the chairs in this game. Colors red. Okay. Um, I guess we've been using some of the Dream Home Decorator stuff. But that has a color to the base that I don't really like. Uh-oh. Sorry, I yawned again. Sorry, Marin, Rhubarb. Uh, Simon, thank you for the subs, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I like to do four chairs. I, I wish that the, the default round tables were a little, like the base game small ones, wish they were a little bit bigger. I always think that these are not big enough. Maybe we should do blue for the chairs. I don't know. I don't know. I want to have like a flower thing on the table. I guess that's nice enough. I'll put this column here. So we still have like a proper little entrance, which is what I wanted kind of, but it opens up into a nice open floor plan. Yeah, you're right. Blue is always the answer with this build. <laughs> As, as we are building everything here today, we must stop and ask ourselves, where else can I add blue? <laughs> where else can I put more blue? <laughs> that is always the question. <laughs> oh, I should save. Good idea. Uh, backwards thanks for 29 months. Yeah, I'm excited too. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> but thanks for being nice. Okay, um, let me put, I don't know. Something like, oh, this thing's always fun. Maybe I use that in the corner, just for like a thing to have. Red carpet on the dining table. Yeah, I think that would be good too. Here on this wall, I'm trying to find some sort of cabinet, like a china cabinet that matches nice enough and isn't too, because, like, that one's so traditional. This one's a little too modern for my taste. Oh, that one has blue. Okay, well, that kind of answers that question. <gasps> New clown? Oh, my God. <laughs> Another person got the clown roll. Where? Where's the point redemption? I didn't even see it. Hello? 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 When? Where? Who? What's their name? <laughs> Shark! Congratulations! Oh my goodness, you have joined a very exclusive group of literally 10 people, including me, that, that have that clown, or clown role in the Discord server. It's a million points. Um, so that's pretty exciting. <laughs> that's actually like genuinely a massive achievement. <laughs> very cool. <laughs> Simi, thanks for the prime sub. Yeah, it's a million points. Plus, plus, you have to have all of the other three rolls first that are 80,000 points each. So it's more than a million points total, technically. Um, it is quite the, uh, the big deal to unlock. Ew, I hate that. Oh, this will be cute for the kids' bedroom. I'll probably use that upstairs. Um, I'm leaning towards, for this, using a more plain rug. Honestly. Like, I'm kind of okay with that one. I don't know about you, but I think that looks good together. So. Okay. Another one of those. That seems fine to me. Yes. There's three 80k ones. Yeah, it's, it's, you only see one because you have to redeem it three times. Uh, in the Discord server, there's like three tiers to it. So once you've redeemed one, you have the yellow roll and then you get the pink one, and then you get the green one. And then once you get clown, it's orange. Um, it's the egg roll, the weenie roll, and the Rick roll. <laughs> it's the same thing, you just redeem it three times. Um, is kind of the idea. Okay, I don't like this one. Um, I think I wanna have maybe, oh my gosh, why do I keep yawning? Oh, it's been a long day. Okay. Um, 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 um. Maybe like one of these? No, I want a painting. 
The Rick roll, yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? Okay, colors, red. Anything good? Um, not really anything that is like super speaking to me here. Although I will say, somewhat surprisingly, I think that this picture is kind of good. <laughs> That's Strangerville. I never thought I'd see the day. But that might actually be kind of good for this. I don't know. Get the everyday clutter thing. Now there's probably a whole bunch of Discord role redemptions, I assume. <laughs> Coming through in the chat because we just talked about it. Um, okay. That could be good. Maybe I, like, line these up so they're kind of going up the stairs a little. Okay. That seems good. And then, like... Do you think we could get a red rug? Oh, no. <laughs> the blue is better. Save the red as an accent color. <laughs> Save the red to be used as an accent. Dream home decorator, please, maybe? I'm lost. They have a couple paintings that might be good. I don't know, that one's not really quite the red that I'm looking for, but... You swear earlier when you were playing House Over that Never Gonna Give You Up was playing softly in the background? Do you think so? I guess it's possible that it could have been. What if they stole Rick Astley's music? What then? Okay, something like that. Alright, I'm thinking last maybe down here, I want to get a little tiny, perhaps a dog bed and then a small dog bowl. Unless we shouldn't do that, who's to say? I don't really know. Just kind of curious about maybe putting a little dog bed over here in the corner. And then the dog bowl, initial thought was like maybe it could go, well this could probably get scooted over, no. Is the curtain bad? Maybe the curtain is a problem. Um, you can get rid of the grid lines by pressing G on your keyboard. You can turn them on and off like that. It's pretty useful. Uh, I don't know about you, but I don't always like to have them on for like all of my building. It's, it's nice when you're like planning spaces, but then when you're decorating, sometimes the grids can be distracting, so. I liked the curtain, but I think I possibly like having photo frames more. I don't really know. I'm worried about the curtain taking up too much space anyway, so maybe it's for the best to not have it. Okay. Uh, we need to do like a soft blue, or maybe it could just be a plain white tile. Also, this might be cute in the bathroom. There could always be just like a plain white tile in the bathroom, or in the kitchen, sorry. What's in the one by one room? Oh, it's like a closet. There's just some closet stuff in there. It's nothing too fancy. Okay. I'm currently feeling like maybe these should be red, but then also, I don't know if that's too, oh, I think that's too much. Maybe not. Sorry. Sonia and Lulz and just simply vibing thanks for the subs. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll put laundry in the garage. I can furnish the garage next. I'm gonna leave the walls in there in that room unfurnished. Growing together tile in the kitchen. We could do that. There's a lot of nice tiles. Um, won't the picture frame glitch it on the gallery? What, this one? No, that's empty, so it doesn't have any effect on it. If I, if I put photos in it on the gallery, the game would think that it has... Um, items and then or it would have cc and then it would totally glitch things but right now it won't oh we should you know what that tile is way better maybe i'll use that in the bathroom and i'll do white out here that's like less visible but it is a cute tile feeling on two red two blue chairs i do like that sometimes i think my bigger concern is that the the bases of them are different 
So, one of the walls in the closet is painted. Oh, no, it's not. Not anymore. <laughs> okay, in the garage. In the garage. We're gonna give them laundry. Kind of back in the corner, like this. Super realistic, I think. I missed some walls. Yeah, we missed a couple. It's okay, we're not really done. We're just kind of getting the majority of the placement down, but and yeah, it is annoying when the woods don't match, like really annoying, but <laughs> we do what we can. Yeah, I was thinking about putting some gym equipment in this particular garage. I think we'll try and do slightly different stuff in all of them, but in this one, I was kind of leaning towards a little bit of gym equipment. I missed a wall behind a bookshelf, okay. Again, we're not done yet. So if that ever happens, there's no need to panic because we're gonna come back around to it and like do a, a check over. Um, so there's no need to, to worry, okay? Yeah, we could have like an art studio sort of thing in one of the garages. We have, there's four garages, so. We have a lot of options to like try a bunch of different things. Uh oh, sorry, I'm yawning again. Why do I keep yawning so much today? Oh no. It's like once you start, you can't stop. Go Sunnyas! Thanks for the eight gifted subs, by the way. Um, okay. Do we like that, maybe? For some storage in the garage? And then we just put a little bit of gym equipment. Converted garage as a bedroom. We could do that in one of them. There are four, so. We got options. We can figure it out as we're as we're uh, furnishing it all. Should I use this somewhere fun? What if they had that in the hallway? Just so we have like some more skill building type stuff. The fake garage door that I'm using, this thing is from Snowy Escape. Okay, Aoife, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you so much. And yeah, this one is the first house. We're only in the first build right now. Maybe we get a little bit of a woodworking table and like the decor box over here. So there's easy access to it all. Eh, scoot it so it's centered. Just put that here underneath it. And then for gym equipment, maybe we get just like one treadmill. Um. Kayla, as a non-religious person who is already legally married, what type of ceremony would you have? That's a loaded question. Um, <laughs> uh, I haven't really thought too much about this, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but it's not so much about religion or about legalities, right? It's about your relationship and like promises to each other, isn't it? So. <laughs> Maybe for some people it's about uh, religion, but not so much for me. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's about the party. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to celebrate with people. So, um, okay. We can have a couple posters, maybe inspo posters, you know, what if we got, no, I don't like those. What if we got like the chore chart thing from parenthood? Oh no, Philip. Well, so what they're talking about, so um, people are asking because in the beginning of the stream today, uh, I was talking about how uh, me and Dan toured a wed wedding venue earlier. Um, and so people are asking uh, like, well, since you're already legally married and you have been for like two years, why? <laughs> and like, what's it even gonna be like? Cause you already got married. It's kind of like the people ask questions like that a lot. So um, that's kind of what they're talking about. Um, okay, I'm worried about how much more to put in here. But anyway, we wanted, I've always wanted to have like a wedding wedding, um, and we couldn't really do that at the time, so that's what I would like to do. What if I give them a no shoe sign? Don't wear shoes in the house. Um, everyday clutter perhaps stuff? Because there is a little bit of gym stuff from the clutter kit. And I could get a couple of those. Oh, we could also hang up some bags. I could see that too, like... Maybe these are your grocery bags. And you keep them in there so it's easy access for you when you're going to get in the car to go to the store. Um... I don't know. 
I keep mine hung up on a hook in the hallway on the way to the car. <laughs> Similar vibes. <laughs> okay. Maybe a brighter light. Oh, really? I kind of liked it being a little dark. Maybe that's silly of me, but... <laughs> I kind of liked it being a little dark. They're lucky that they have... Oh, hang the bags in the cabinet. I guess that's an idea too, huh? Oh. That makes the cabinet more useful. Does that really not slot in there? I wonder if we could put some stuff... Hmm. We could try and put, like, the gym... Oh. Oh. It's not really what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to go here. We can try and put the gym equipment up on that shelf too, so it's easier for you to get to. Maybe I won't use that one. I'm worried about like overdoing it in here a little bit. I'm scared that I'm gonna put um, a little bit too much. Maybe we could have some, and not too many, but maybe there could be some little bits of visible brick. It could be peeling just a smidge. I don't know. We have the holiday decoration box already. So we do have that going on. Should there be like a stain or two? Can't even see them. Yeah, I don't want to put too, too much. Okay. Um, okay. Let's leave it there for now before we do too much, and then we can always come back and think about it. Alright. Um, Dizzy, thanks for the 29 month resub, by the way. Can you please open the door so it won't open right into the closet? What, this one? Oh, yeah, people get really stressed out about that in The Sims, don't they? Just so you know, in game, um, it doesn't matter which way it's rotated, really. I think the door opens based on what direction they're coming from. From what I remember, but I could be wrong about that. I might be remembering incorrectly. Um, but that's what I thought happened in The Sims. Can I turn the music down a bit? Is it too loud, for real? Yeah, it is based on The Sims direction, yeah. So it doesn't actually matter what way it's facing with those doors um because it just depends where they're where they're headed no it's not too loud okay um let's not do a tub down here i guess we'll have the oh oh we have to have a tub down here there's not enough space for it upstairs okay shower tub combo the flower rug in the living room is from the backyard stuff pack okay something like this little guy. I'll get a very skinny sink. Oh, we can also get the thermostat over here. This is good. Like, sort of by the garage door. I think that kind of makes sense. Where's the music from? It's the Sims 2 soundtrack. This is it loud. Um, I'm playing it quite quietly on my stream right now. Um, but... <laughs> It is, in fact, The Sims 2. So, that one's too big. Um, sorry, that was loud. <laughs> I was just trying to make it so that you could actually hear it. Oh, I want a sink that has gold. And this one has gold, but I can't really move. I guess I can move this just a bit. Scoot it over a bit more. Something so that this one is not too close to the edge. The Sims 3 a good game to play? Oh, you have come to the right place to talk about The Sims 3. I am absolutely going to tell you yes. Realistically, they're, it's too expensive. They should be selling it at a at bigger discount because it's so old. But um, And also, I think that you might not like it as much if you did not play it when you were young, like a lot of us did. Um, I, I can acknowledge the, the bias that I have from nostalgia. <laughs> It's still good. It still stands up, but it like doesn't run as well anymore. And she's really annoying to build in because the game crashes so often. I speak from experience. I've been streaming it a lot recently, um, but I still love her. I still love her. Uh, I like Sims 3 a lot, so. 
Um, there's a lot of uh, really mixed opinions about the graphics. I think for the most part, most people think it's ugly. There are some people who think that it's beautiful and The Sims 4 is ugly. Um, but generally speaking, the average person sort of uh, thinks The Sims 3 is a bit, bit ugly. <laughs> So that is something to consider as well. Um, okay. Ew, that's ugly red. You can do yellow, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it's just old. It came out in 2009, so, you know, something to consider, I guess. It's not a, a bright and shiny new game anymore. Um, thought The Sims 4 was ugly. Really? I totally don't agree. I love the style of The Sims 4. I think The Sims 4 style is absolutely perfect for what we need out of this game. I think that uh, The Sims 4 and how like sort of stylized it is, instead of trying to be super realistic, I think it being sort of stylized like this is a really good call because it's going to age better. The Sims 3 tried to be super realistic, but the problem was they tried to be realistic in 2009. So realistic graphics in 2009 they don't really hold up <laughs> you know like it it looks um it looks like 2009 when you look at it now um and that's okay it it is a relic of its time but um the style doesn't age as well so that's part of it too um it's the bathroom clutter kit that has the little candle right I really like that thing. Yes, okay, I'll put that on the toilet. That's cute. Okay. Um, upstairs, we have to do it a little bit smaller because this bathroom is a little bit smaller. They don't have a space for a tub up here, but that's okay. You love watching me play Sims 3? I love, I love watching people play The Sims 3 too. The Sims 3 is like, Granted, The Sims 3 is like my childhood. Like, The Sims 3 was my first ever Sims game. Actually, that's a lie. My Sims Kingdom was my first ever Sims game, but I don't have that same level of nostalgia for my Sims Kingdom as I do for The Sims 3. I have a great deal of nostalgia for The Sims 3. I look back on that game so fondly. It's like my one of my favorite things in the world. Just like the sound of opening The Sims 3 fills my heart with joy. Like I love The Sims 3 so much. <laughs> I really, really, really like that game a lot. Um, but I can acknowledge its downfalls. I, I, you know, I can admit she has some issues, but that's okay. It's an old game. Um, yeah, I had My Sims Kingdom on my Wii when I was a child. That was, again, the first Sims game I ever got. What I wanted was The Sims 3 for Christmas, but then my grandparents got me My Sims Kingdom. <laughs> and that's not bad. I liked it. Um, but, uh, what did they know when I said I wanted The Sims, you know? <laughs> But I've played a bunch of My Sims Kingdom back then. I really would like to try and play it again. I haven't played it in so long. We, we've talked about trying to do that sort of thing on stream at some point, too. Um, yeah, anyway. A lot of people have The Sims 2 as their, like, nostalgia game. Um, but I don't really have that so much. Uh, I My family didn't, like, have a computer or, like, a way to play computer games in The Sims 2 era, really. So... I missed out and I, I'm like the oldest sibling. So I, a lot of people that played The Sims 2 when they were like around the same age as me, which I mean, it came out when I was like five years old, four years old. Those people often had like older siblings or older cousins or like an older neighbor who they were playing with. I didn't, I was the oldest. <laughs> so I didn't play it when I was a kid, The Sims 2. Um, so I don't really have that same nostalgia feelings for The Sims 2 because I kind of missed out on the, on the era just a bit. Um, yeah, like, you had your older sister and her friend, exactly. A lot of people had that experience where they had, like, an older sibling who was playing, but I didn't. Um, I've played The Sims 2 now, but I didn't really play The Sims 2 when it first came out back then. Uh, we didn't really have the ability to play it, so. Um, okay. Let's see. Get a ceiling lamp. You play with your mom? That's so fun. I love that. My mom is not a gamer, really. My mom doesn't really play any games at all. Doesn't really as an understatement. She doesn't play any games at all. <laughs> She's never been a gamer. Um, my dad plays games. He's a he's a big PlayStation guy, but he um I I got him a PC recently. So he's been he's been playing he likes a game called Ark Survival, and he always played it on console. Um, but there's like a new one or something and 
uh, he, he's been obsessively playing it on his PC, <laughs> so, um, it's, uh, he, he's a gamer now. He's turning into a PC gamer like us. <laughs> yeah, he really likes Ark. Um, this is a happy story, not a sad story, just to preface. It sounds like a sad story, but I mean it in a positive light. Um, and my dad has cancer, and when he was first diagnosed, when he first started playing Ark, and, um, if any of you know anybody who has, like, gone through chemo treatments or anything, um, my dad, uh, still to this day is on chemo and a steroid, so that you take both, because the steroid helps you with, with this horrible, like, nightmarish chemo pill that makes you sick. Steroid has some bad side effects, too, though, because when he takes the chemo, he gets really sick and feels really sick, but he's on the steroids, so he can't sleep. <laughs> So, um, it's like a never-ending cycle of, like, being up all night playing a video game because of the steroid. Um, and so he plays a lot of ARC when that's happening. Um, but that's not meant to be a sad story. It's just, it's a fact of life. Um, and the game has been a really good outlet for him to, like, have a thing to do. Um, and it was a huge escape for him at the time when he was first diagnosed, so. Um, well, not everybody does, uh, Andrean. I mean, you're, I'm sure your mom has a different kind of cancer, um, than my dad does. Not everybody has the same thing going on, you know? Um, but, yeah, he's on a maintenance chemo, Floxy. Um, so he still, he takes it. Every week he takes it. Um, so, it is what it is. It is a fact of our lives, <laughs> so, um... It's, uh, unfortunate, horrible, horrible side effects and stuff, but it is what it is. Um, okay. So, I want to give them another thermostat up here, I think, before I forget. Um, I hope that for you too, Fel. I hope that for you too. Chemo is really hard. It is really, really, really rough. What was I going to get? Thermostat, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's just awful, um, to have to, to be on that, so... Um, your mom, when she was going through cancer, she got really into ghost hunting shows and making paper snowflakes. That's fun. See? Hobbies. <laughs> That's the spirit. Find something you enjoy, you know? I like that. That's cool. Um, a lot of people get, um, one thing that I will say is the switch, uh, is a big one because there's like different kinds of chemo, right? Um, people have to get like, like they might have to go in and be on like a chemo drip. Sometimes it's a pill kind of depends what you're dealing with and what they're prescri prescribing you but if you're on the chemo drip and you're going to be like in there you know sitting there getting the medicine for ages um a lot of people really really get into the nintendo switch oh my game almost crashed um they get super into the nintendo switch because they can play and like you know play from home docked bring it with them um so a switch if you know someone who gets diagnosed with cancer and they maybe might like games a switch is maybe a really good gift idea um also my dad and his ipad iPad is a legendary uh, feature to have because he can watch his shows on there and like read stuff and play on it like online. Um, both good ideas. So, <laughs> um, so I, I, hopefully you won't ever have to be doing something like that and buying something like that for somebody. But those are both good ones for um, a lot of folks that are going through those things. Um, iPad dad, yeah, <laughs> iPad dad for sure. <laughs> That's funny, um, but. Yeah, my, my dad is definitely an iPad dad. <laughs> um, yeah, and like the Steam Deck. Um, the Steam Deck wasn't really around when my dad was first diagnosed, but the Steam Deck is not a bad idea nowadays either because that Steam Deck, they make they make a lot of these things now. Like Logitech has one too. Um, they make a lot of these like cloud gaming devices um, where you, you can play games. I don't really want to use these in here, um, but they can run PC games. Um, like on the cloud. I think Logitech runs Xbox games though. Um, but that's kind of cool uh, because you can play like PC Sims on a mobile gaming device. So, Grandma got really into Animal Crossing. I love that. I, I wish my grandparents were capable of playing uh, Animal Crossing. My grandparents are not gamers. They are not gamers. <laughs> There's no way, not even in the slightest, would that ever happen. <laughs> it just would not. Uh, but I think that that would be cool. A, a few of my friends' grandparents are big into Animal Crossing as well. I've heard them talk about it, which I think is kind of cute. Um, okay, that matches quite well, right? I think so. Your grandma can't even use a phone? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. Um, my my grandma's flip phone is a challenge. Um, she's a she's a home phone girly, but she has a, a flip cell phone too because when she goes out, in case she like needs help or something, um, she has a, a flip phone now. Um, but that's also a challenge. So <laughs> there's no way she'd be playing the Switch game. <laughs> it's just it just wouldn't happen. Uh, that is that is not for us. Let's just say that. <laughs> Um, okay. I think, oh, I don't know where to put this bed. This is a, a rough one. I think maybe here in the corner. Um, yeah, I had a Nintendo DS when I was a kid, Soya, and also my grandparents had a GameCube. So I have, like, my, my earliest gaming memories. I say my grandparents had one, but it's like my cousins got them to buy one to keep in the basement. Like, my grandpa wasn't out picking that out, you know? Um, it was like my uncles and my cousins that bought it. Because <laughs> my cousins are all a lot older than me, but I played a lot on, on the GameCube. Even, like, past the GameCube's prime, I was still playing on the GameCube in my grandparents' basement. So that's, like, my early days of, um of gaming were the the GameCube in my grandparents' basement and my DS. <laughs> I love the GameCube. That's a good one. Game, like Mario Kart on the GameCube, unmatched, legendary. Um, okay. Actually, that kind of matches quite well with the colors that we have. No, I never had Animal Crossing. I kind of missed out. I never had Animal Crossing on the DS. I played a lot of like Mario games. Um, we never had Animal Crossing when I was a kid on our DS. Um, I was playing, like, Nintendogs. <laughs> um, but I never had Animal Crossing. I would have loved that, though. I didn't even know about Animal Crossing back then, I don't think. Um, I mostly only, like, had the games that, like, to be honest, my dad picked out, so. Um. We all kind of shared it, so. Okay, I think I want to get, I like these, even if they block the, um, the doorway a little bit. I think that's kind of cute. Maybe I could put here, I don't know, like a bookshelf or something. I have a DS now. <laughs> I've played Animal Crossing on the DS now, but I didn't have it then. Okay. No, I haven't played Breath of the Wild, Holly. I would really like Breath of the Wild. Um, but I haven't played it yet. I probably should give it a go at some point soon, though, because everybody talks about it and speaks so highly of it. My my really close friend, Hope, um, has told me a million times that I should play it and that I would really like it, and I trust Hope with my life, so. <laughs> She's obsessed with Breath of the Wild, and I haven't played it yet. I gotta give it a shot. Um, okay. I think... You, I say her name because you know Hope. Her name is Goose Kingdom. She's in the chat. Not right now. Sometimes she is. <laughs> yeah, that game was huge. Everybody was obsessed with that, weren't they? At the time. Um, your grandparents only played Wii Sports or Wii Fit. I love that, though. <laughs> we were out playing. We, my, um, my neighbor had a uh, Wii way before we ever had a Wii. And we used to play the Wii Sports games at their house. They had also, like, the first ever Xbox Connect. And I remember thinking that was, like, the most impressive, just amazing thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. <laughs> I don't know what the game was, but they had this game where it was, I remember it almost being kind of like Subway Surfers to an extent. But you'd be, like, ducking under things and the character would be running and you'd be, like, trying to jump and duck and everything. I wish I remember specifics because it's been so long I don't really remember exactly how it went. But I, I remember playing a game like that on their Kinect and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Um, you feel like you had that? Yeah, what was that? I don't remember that game. I don't know what it was called. I, I, I didn't own it. My neighbor owned it. But I used to play it at their house all the time. It wasn't Temple Run, it was on the, uh, they didn't have, um, they didn't have Temple Run on the Xbox. Um, Crash Bandicoot, I don't know. Could it have been that on the Xbox? I don't know. I don't really remember what it looked like either. It's been so long. Connect Adventures? Oh, was it just Connect Adventures? Um, it might have just been a, like, a default game. Um, but I loved it. That was amazing. 
I'd like walk over to the ho- their house and knock on the door and be like, you guys want to play? <laughs> and then we'd, we'd sit in their house and we'd play on the Xbox. <laughs> Those were the days. <sighs> Not anymore. <laughs> now I don't see anybody. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't want to though. <laughs> I'm a, I like to be alone. But back then, I used to go to their house and just knock and be like, Hello, are they home? Can I play? It was Connect Adventures. Okay. I'm, I'm glad I didn't make that up. That makes me feel better. It's fun to know what that is now. I haven't thought about that in years. They also had a Barbie game. It must have been for the Xbox. My family has never had an Xbox. My dad had Playstations when we were young. We never had an Xbox. But they also had a Barbie game that I thought was like the coolest thing ever. Um, I remember playing their Barbie game, too. Um, I don't remember which one it was, but I thought that was so fun. Okay. Um, was it the Barbie Jet Set style game? Jet? I don't know. Someone else said Barbie horse game. I'd have to... I mean, when did the... So, the Xbox Connect first released in 2010... So it would be like a Barbie Xbox game around 2010. Whatever that was. I don't know. I don't remember specifics about it. Um, it might have been a horse game. I don't really remember. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if I would recognize it if you said the name of it, to be honest. It's been so long. I'm, I'm not really sure. You just found your old copy of Barbie Horse Adventure for Wii? Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> My parents probably still have our old Wii, like, in the closet upstairs. I bet they have... I need to go... Maybe I should try and find it and steal it. Because I would like to have that. <laughs> I think that would be fun. You still have yours? Yeah, they must. They wouldn't have gotten rid of it, so it must still be up there. Peppa? <laughs> I wonder what happened, because when my grandparents sold their house, I wonder what they did with their old, because they had a Wii in their basement too. They had the Wii and the, um, the GameCube. I wonder what happened when they sold their house. Um, no, that looks bad. That looks bad too. I guess I could maybe use that one, because I could maybe put it in like the... It could be pink. Does that bring it all together nicely, maybe? Should I get some fairy lights? Can Wii games be streamed? I don't know. You might need to, um, because, like, if you want to stream from a DS, you kind of have to have, like, a hacked DS, basically. So the Wii might be the same thing. I don't think they work with capture cards, but I'd have to, I'd have to look into it. I mean, even if we couldn't stream it, I'd still want to play with it, so. I'd still have fun. Okay, I like the kind of funky color scheme in here. I think that's cute. Uh, Main Street Step and sometimes Artsy and Ash. Thank you for the subs. Okay, this is going to be a infant's room. I have decided. I'm going to decorate it for an infant. I know, right? Nintendo used to... They used to really uh, come down a lot harder on people for stuff like that, though. Like, back in the day, you literally could not stream Nintendo games at all. Or else they would kill you. True story. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. They, but they were like really strict about um, protecting their stuff. Like you literally could not stream their games, which seems very foolish because like people streaming their games is good for them because it brings like you know attention to and, and an audience base to it. Like you think about me playing The Sims and and like how much like basically free promotion it is for The Sims. I'm not doing it for that reason, but. It is what it is, like, it, it gives them a lot of promotion, um, but Nintendo used to be really weird about not letting anybody do that, um, which wasn't very smart of them. <laughs> and they've kind of changed their tune now. Um, they used to be like that, so. Um, Tolan with the flowers? Oh, that would be kind of cute in here, wouldn't it? I don't know. I'll have to think about which one to use. I also, it might be better if we got, instead of a tall dresser, if we got the um, changing table. 
Yeah, I agree. I think that that was, like, really not good for them. Um, especially, like, compared to their competitors early on. I think that was, like, a really poor decision for them to have made. Um, but, anyway, they're not really like that anymore, so. Times have changed. Um, but they were, like, they're very traditional about a lot of their things. Um, just different from a lot of other game companies. No, Nintendo doesn't really work with creators, I don't think. They, it's not the same. Like, you know how EA, like, gives people early access to The Sims? I'm sure there's some people who might get some kind of access to Nintendo games, but they don't really have, like, a creator program in the same way that we are used to with The Sims community. Um, oh, the Cats and Dogs one is probably better. I like that. They might have something very small, but it's not, like, easy to get into. I don't really- I don't think I know anybody who works with them on anything. So it's probably, like, real big-timey sort of people that they might work with for that. Um, some of their smaller games? That makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting to think about, but, um... They do send some promo. That's cool. I'm glad. I'm glad they sent it to some people. I think they would really benefit from sending it to more people. Like, if they could, like, foster more of a... I don't know. There's a lot of people that play Nintendo games, but things like Animal Crossing, first of all, they fumbled that bag so hard. But <laughs> by them stopping the development of Animal Crossing, that was so silly. So silly. Um, they should have kept working on it. If they had, like, we would have paid for so much more DLC. Anyway... Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's too late for them. Um, but anyway, they would they would really benefit from, um, like, if they had worked on that longer and then also, like, tried to foster more of a... There's a very vibrant Animal Crossing community, but I think if they had, like, invested into that a little bit more, um, it would have been good for them. Truly, it is devastating, them giving up on Animal Crossing so soon. Not smart, not smart. Um, yeah, well, they, they didn't start to work on a new one. They stopped working on Animal Crossing to make Splatoon. The same team is, was working on a different game. And Splatoon is really big, too, but, um, that's why. It's because they were working on a different game. Um, okay, that's cute. Maybe I should scoot this over so I can put the... We can fit more stuff. I've never played Splatoon, but um, personally, I I can't forgive Splatoon for what it did to Animal Crossing. <laughs> I have a negative opinion of a game I've never played because it's the reason that Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons didn't develop longer. <laughs> I got a grudge against Splatoon. <laughs> Alex, Chloe, thank you for the subs, by the way. You're splaying, you're splaying Platoon, is what I was gonna say. You're playing Splatoon right now, apparently. Wow, traitor. Traitor! <laughs> oh, my hair is bothering me. Sorry, everybody. Um, it's really popular. It is a popular game. But Animal Crossing, I don't know if they were prepared for it to reach the popularity that it did. I think that was kind of a surprise to everybody. Animal Crossing was incredibly lucky and the time that it came out. It came out, Animal Crossing New Horizons came out in March 2020. So it greatly benefited from everyone being home for the pandemic. Um, that was it, like very unfortunate for the world, but extremely lucky for Nintendo when that game released. Like that truly could not have been better timing for them. Like, that was, like, perfect storm for New Horizons to be extremely, extremely successful. Um, so, I don't know if they were anticipating. Obviously, you wouldn't anticipate that, right? But, um, you bought a Switch because of it? Yeah, it was, like, that time, that time when everybody was playing was, like, so unmatched. I have so many fond memories of playing Animal Crossing with all my friends back then. It was really special because people would be like, Oh my god, Celeste is on my island if you want to come over. Oh, I've got shooting stars, you want to come over? <laughs> and, like, we would- I remember, like, being in the kitchen, actively cooking dinner. 
with like Animal Crossing open on my Switch so I could be like getting the shooting stars so I could get star fragments on my beach because my friend had shooting stars on her island. Like, <laughs> and you just, no one does that really anymore, you know? Um, it was, uh, it was kind of a special time, so. I'd like wake up in the morning and check my shop in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Those were the good old days. Um, I mean, it was a really horrible time in the world, but it was a, a, a really nice thing to have in that time, you know? Um, so. Okay. Wish it was cheaper. Oh yeah, Animal Crossing is really expensive. $60 and you gotta have a Switch. Good luck. Yeah, I miss those days. I wonder when they'll release a new Animal Crossing. I, it won't be until they have a new console. They'll probably make a new Switch sort of thing. And then there will be a new Animal Crossing. So probably not anytime soon, soon. But I look forward to that day. <laughs> um, no. Should we do a... No. Um, yeah, it was like a good way to interact with friends when you couldn't really see your friends. Yeah, it was a, a really nice form of social interaction at the time. Um, it was really fun. Okay, keep in mind Wii U didn't have Animal Crossing. Yeah, I know, not all the consoles had Animal Crossing, but some people, there's rumors that they're gonna make an Animal Crossing, like, soon, and I, I'm, I don't think they will. <laughs> not on this console, at least. There was like eight years in between New Horizons and the previous Animal Crossing game as well. Or something like that, I don't remember exactly. So don't quote me on it, but <laughs> it was not a, uh, they were not close together. Okay. Um, cute. Okay. First house, interior, potentially complete. Let's work on the exterior of this one now. Really, Sammy? Yeah, that was a rough time. I, um, part of why I look back so fondly on Animal Crossing also is because that was like the, I remember, because obviously that came out in March 2020. I graduated college in May of 2020. So I was in like the last bit of my final semester of college and literally, all I could think about was Animal Crossing. I would be sitting there like, I got a paper to write. I got to check on my island. <laughs> and I would be like, listen, Kayla, you write this many pages, you can log on to Animal Crossing for a second. <laughs> like I was using Animal Crossing as like such a motivator for me at the time. <laughs> it was, um, it was real helpful for that reason. <laughs> Which is really funny looking back on obviously, but um. Yeah, that was a uh, that was good for me back then. <laughs> okay, um, should I get them a pool? I f I fear it would have to be really quite small. Maybe that's okay though. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't- I didn't walk at graduation either, um... I don't know, I- I have fond memories of my virtual graduation. <laughs> Which is such a weird thing to say, but, um... We watched- I had- I, they had like a virtual live stream graduation for us, um... And I watched it on stream, and, uh, I- that was such a weird day because- Oh, should we do red chairs? <gasps> what if we did red chairs? We watched it on stream, um, and I did a charity fundraiser that day, and, uh, I, like, decorated myself a little grad cap and we watched it. The thing is, this- this live stream they did, it was literally a PowerPoint where they just, like, clicked through people's names. <laughs> so, we watched that, it was great fun, um, and that was that. I graduated. <laughs> it's so funny how a lot of you remember that, isn't it? That was a long time ago now, too. Um, you cried during yours? Oh, I'm so sorry that, that you had that experience. I know it really sucks. Well, cause so many people, they, like, you know, a lot of people, they, they really dream of this day for forever, you know? Um, and it was really sad to have that. 
opportunity taken away from you. And then, like, they did have, like, makeup graduations for some people, if you wanted to. Um, I never did, did that, but, um, it's just not the same, you know? Um, it's a huge accomplishment, and it's a shame that, like, a lot of people had to miss out on, like, the, the celebration of it all. Especially because for a lot of people, like, their whole family comes, and it's, like, a really big deal, you know? And not everybody got to have that the way they wanted it to be. <laughs> so... Anyway, um, I don't- I don't think that I really minded too much. I, uh, I made the most out of it, and I was- I was happy, so. Um, miss out on your high school graduation and prom? Yeah, that's really hard. I'm really sorry that happened. Um, that's another one of those things that you, like, you think about for so long, you know? Um, and then to not even get the opportunity, even if you, like, wouldn't have liked it. It still is, uh, really sad that you didn't even get the chance to- to make that call, you know? Um... Okay. I like how those look, I think. Maybe. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll put a grill right here. That seems good to me. Oh, no, we could probably fit both, now that I think about it. Never mind. Do both. Small grill. And the plants. Okay. Um, and then I want to put... Should we get, like, a little bit of a trim? Oh, what's happening there? That's weird. Crossing, thank you for the sub. Um, it would be nice to go to these events and complain about them. That's part of the fun. Yeah, see? I'm sorry. Monkey bars? Yeah, I think I'm going to try and put some stuff for the kids back here. Um, I'd like to have some, some things like that for the, the kids. I like to think that they have a child and obviously they have a toddler as well, so. Should this be here in the, on this side? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, the toddler pool, that would be a cute idea. Maybe they could have a little garden section too. Oh, also I want to copy some of the landscaping from the front. Um. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think the little pops of red are kind of fun as well. I don't know. Those chairs are from growing- no, they're from for rent, sorry. I almost gave you a wrong answer. <laughs> I had to correct myself. The chairs are from the rent pack, those little red chairs. Um, oh, bad news, everybody. This didn't happen to me. Sorry, just thinking of The Sims for a second. Um, well, so I saw someone in chat mention terrain paint. Listen to this. Christine, one of my mods, was playing The Sims the other day. Had a terrain paint bug. You know the one. We're all familiar, unfortunately, with a terrain paint bug. Not in build mode. You guys, in live mode, all of Christine's terrain paint, gone. I only have that happen to me in build mode. It has never happened to me in live mode. So that is an extremely alarming thing to hear happen. Really, really concerned about that one. I gotta be honest. <laughs> That's a scary development. <laughs> They really need to fix that. Like, like, really desperately need to fix that. It makes it, like, so you don't want to work on a build. Like, you can tell I haven't done any terrain paint yet. I'm not gonna do terrain paint until the build's, like, basically done. I'm doing terrain paint last across this whole thing. Because it's gonna delete itself and I just don't want to deal with that, you know? Um, it just makes it really frustrating to even bother with it. Okay, um, I don't know what I want to put over here. Um, I think that this is okay for now. I don't think I should put too much else on that side. And then over here, we'll get a little bit more landscaping and then probably like the, uh, kids toys that we had talked about, perhaps? Should I put an entrance into the backyard? Oh no. Hold on. The living space is so POTS Gen 3 coded. I'm so glad that you think so. <laughs> um, okay. Should we have... 
No, let's do debug stuff. Hold on. Yeah, in my, um, in my not so berry challenge, before it was the not so berry challenge, it was just my legacy challenge. We had a thing like that. Oops, BB dot show live edit objects. Okay. Cool. Um, oops, control shift C. Why am I searching there? Oh my god. Debug. Caleb, please save. Okay. Fine. <laughs> How common does it happen in live mode? I don't know. I've only seen a couple people say it's happened to them in live mode. So I don't think it's common by any means, but it's certainly not impossible. And that's what's alarming. Um, okay. So this is what I'm picturing. I want to get... Something like this that goes up to the edge. That's kind of cute though, right? Maybe? Do you think it's okay? Oops. I think it's kind of nice. Okay. Um, that does complicate things with the additional landscaping I want to add in. <laughs> Wait, I want to get monkey bars. Something like these perhaps in red. I think once I do terrain paint, which I'll do, like I said, I'll do that last across the entire build. Once we get terrain paint, it'll be better. Okay. Um, something like that. Uh, I think that sims are okay to walk on these stones. They will not walk on all of the stones, but I think that these stones in particular, the sims will walk on. But unfortunately, I don't really remember specifically which ones were the problem. I know that's not helpful. Oh, I was gonna have a back door. Hmm. Okay, switcheroo a little. Hold on. Maybe I shall put this like here. It could even be smaller than that. I don't know. We have to be careful about where it gets placed. Um, yeah, I like the garage with the gym and laundry too. I think that's like really nice and functional for gameplay. Plus, and I know I always say this, but like having that sort of thing in your game is so useful because say you have some of those, you know, like that really annoying microscope item, like this giant thing, where do you put that? Where do you put this? And then if you have a space like this, like kind of a flex space in your Sims garage, it's really useful for any sort of thing like that that you might need to add in. Um, it gives you a lot of room to work with for just additional stuff, you know? Um, and I find that really helpful. Okay, that's kind of annoying. I might scoot it over just a bit more. Um, I'm leaning towards putting something like this on the top of it. That's a little bit ugly. It might be better in blue, I don't know. Oh, I wish it came in all white. Some of the other ones do. I can always try and find one that kind of matches the roof a little better too. I don't know. Um, you have a science lab basement for your not so very challenge? Yeah, I mean, you have to do that sometimes because like, where else is the rest of it gonna fit? Sims will be entering the house through the garage door. Well, you'll be able to set the front door so you won't have to worry about it too much because you will be able to determine that, that the front door is over there. This is a door too, so they might end up using this, but. I'm not that worried about it. I think I want another red flower for right here. Um, we could do like some of these kind of, I think that one's kind of ugly, but maybe it's ugly in a fun way. Ugly in a way that is worth using, potentially. Okay, and then I can put the trash can right next to it too, so it's easy access. 
The not so berry challenge is non-inclusive of base game players. Ah, Krusty Krab, I'm real sorry, but that was actually like the whole point when we wrote it. The point was to try and branch out and use parts of packs that we didn't use. Um, so that's not so fun if you don't have the packs, but like the intention when I wrote it, when I was 17 years old in 2017, was to try and write a challenge that encompassed a lot of parts of packs that I didn't really ever use very often. Um, so it is what it is. There are base game versions. If you Google it, there's people have made versions for other games. They've made base game versions. They've made extended versions. The community has kind of taken it and run with it. So if you're looking for base game ones, they're available. But unfortunately, the intention was for it to be not base game when I wrote it, um, which hopefully makes sense to you. Um, when I wrote it in 2017, I didn't think anybody else was going to do it because I was 17 years old and I was making a challenge for fun with my friend for just us two. <laughs> so. Non-inclusive is kind of a wild way of describing that, by the way. <laughs> um, just so you know. But it was written a long, long, long time ago. Um, so it only has old, old, old packs, too. Um, okay. Um, hey, Technicolor, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. We're currently building a um, an entire neighborhood <laughs> right now. I'll show you in a second. Let me just finish placing these little uh, bits real quick. And then I can show you. We just finished the first house um, of the neighborhood, but it's literally an entire neighborhood of four houses. We're calling it Blue Suburbia. Um, and the idea is that it has like all of the packs or all of these houses that are, not all the packs, I'm confusing our previous conversation. It has all of these blue houses because it's like a meme that everyone makes fun of me for only ever building blue houses. Um, so I've, I'm making an entire neighborhood of only blue houses to like really embrace the meme. Um, and that is kind of where we're at right now. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna get a bench and then we'll go on to the next house. Um, I may use that one because that one's kind of cute and simple. Okay. Okay, maybe I get a couple more of these ferns. I'm sorry. I forgot I was using those. That might be kind of good for back here. There's a couple spaces that it might work nicely. Um. Okay, maybe one more small. Maybe I could put this kind of like, oh, I don't like, eh, I don't know about that. I might move those around when I, uh, when I do the terrain paint at the end. So yeah, I like that dining table and chair combo. I've never used those yet. Um, I actually think that looks really cool. <laughs> These are the new chairs from the rent pack, and that table's from the backyard stuff pack. There's a shared mailbox. They have a shared one down at the edge of the road. Um, a lot of new build neighborhoods in real life have that, so that's kind of what I was aiming for. Um, anyway, there's number one. Uh, let's do... I think I'll do this one to be... We had talked about doing a house that was like owned by a person who loves the beach and was trying to channel the beach in their house. I think that one will be kind of beachy. I want this one to be like dark blue colors on the inside. But we can do the beachy one next. Um, I think that's the plan. Yeah, it makes sense to have the plastic chairs outside. That's like so normal, right? I don't really often do that either. So it's kind of fun to, well, because they're new. <laughs> so that's why I don't often do it because we haven't had them for very long. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll make it into a rental lot. That's the idea, is to make it into a rental lot so we can use it, um, with the new rent pack. Um, that is totally the plan. Okay, um, I am currently feeling as though potentially this part could become a bathroom downstairs. This part, who knows? Maybe an office, maybe a bedroom. Can't say for sure at this moment in time. Um, this part, living room. Kind of like that. That's real close to the front door. That's not so ideal. Okay, living room, like that. I'll give them accent chairs. Now it's not so close to the front door anymore. Unless, is it okay if the chairs are like that close together? No, it's better if it's scooted forward. Okay, that's the entrance there. 
we'll get an accent chair that'll be a different color. And again, we're gonna decorate this as if the person who lives here loves the beach. Just loves it. They don't need to have a beachy floor. They can just have a regular floor. But their furnishings are going to really um, scream beach. Uh-oh. That's pretty annoying. <laughs> I think we need to scoot this over a little bit more. Um, sandals, string lights, maybe in like one of the rooms. That could be kind of fun. The flip-flop lights, that's a good idea. Okay. Um, okay, so I think that up here, Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So they have a garage? Yeah, they do have a garage. It's a detached garage, which is kind of nice actually, I would say. Um, this house is really small. They only have one bathroom it looks like, but the bathroom is big. So that's nice, I guess. And then up here, I guess potentially it's a th little three bed sort of house. This might be better if the staircase was not wrapped around. I just like how it looks better like this. I'm initially thinking layout wise, first thought was that we'd have a desk here by the front door because that kind of fits nicely. Perhaps this becomes like the primary bedroom or this one could be the primary bedroom because they have a, um... hold on, a couple other things need to be done too. Like for example, getting rid of that so it's not clipping. But what I'm thinking is I will draw a fence here and then delete that. Ooh. To know about this. It's kind of wide. I don't know. Can you walk past the desk? Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll scoot it into the wall a bit too. You'd be surprised. I do this a lot and the sims are totally fine. Um, it's not in the way. They're a little bit smarter than you might want to give them credit for, which is, I mean, you don't want to give sims too much credit, but they are a little bit better than you think about using spaces. <laughs> um, do you think it's okay if that's like totally floating? I don't know. Should I put a column? That might be all right with a column there to help separate it. A little bit of a trim piece. That's fine. Okay, so there would be a desk there. The kitchen would go kind of like Something along these lines would be where the kitchen goes. Um, uh-oh, with the rug. Huge uh-oh. We might have to do some scooting of the windows. Not really sure where they'll be yet. Something like that. And then there would be a small, I guess this could scoot over too. There'll be a small dining table here. I don't know. We have to change the roof trim because it's clipping. Make it into a skinnier one. Across this whole house. Okay. So. This one stays the primary bedroom. And they could have like just a small teeny tiny teeny bathroom upstairs. And then there's a big 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 bathroom downstairs that everybody has access to. And then this is a bedroom. So in total it's a four bedroom house. What if the kitchen was closed off? I mean we could do that. Um, this is also a good opportunity, actually, to use more of the growing together stuff. This is maybe not a good idea for a house this small, but also maybe a good idea for the vibes. Um, you could close off the kitchen and then have it like that. Three bedrooms and a study. I don't know, I'm kind of trying to fit in, um, almost like as many bedrooms as we can in this house. That does make this rug kind of tight. We wouldn't use these counters, that's for sure. 
I'm okay if those windows are not centered. I'm not really worried about that aspect of it. I know it looks bad from the side, but whatever. Okay, Sims Lover and Robin and B and Val, thank you for the subs. Um, I'm thinking right now that maybe a little trellis is potentially an interesting idea. And, I don't know, that gives us more wall space for the kitchen. This is annoying for the kitchen, but that's okay. Maybe no dining room and just island. We could do that. I really do like how this looks, but I'm so worried about how open it is. I'm really worried that it's like so, um, it's like so tight. Oh, this is kind of a sandy color. That could work for our beach vibes. It's a renovated kitchen. I'm worried that it's like not enough space for us to have a full living area because it's so small. I don't know. Archway's a good idea. It's fun in theory, but I think in practice in this particular house, there's not enough space for it. Um, okay. I think I may give them this. Oops. Can I use it in the white or... The only problem with this kitchen set is that it doesn't really have like a stainless steel like I want it to. <laughs> Which always makes me feel sad, but it's okay. I don't really want it to match, because that's not really bright and cheery. Could close it off with an island. Maybe. Could it go where the downstairs bedroom is? I mean, it could, but I kind of... My, my preference is to have more bedrooms. I really want to have this house be kind of big. Um... It's a small house, but, like, we had only the three bedrooms in this house, so I'd like to have an extra bedroom in this house. Um, maybe the yellow swatch? I don't know, I think the yellow is kind of bright. I don't know if I want to do it so bright. The blue looks terrible, I think, with the gold accent, so I don't really want to do that either. Might not work to use the stuff from this pack, though. Um, yeah, the yellow is bright, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, bright is good at times. But in this case, I don't think bright is what I want. Maybe the green? Well, we're trying to base everything off of this color scheme on the... Well, you know what else we could do? We wanted to have one of the houses be a little bit cheaper seeming. So we could try to have this house be the one that is slightly cheaper. And use, like some slightly cheaper appliances. Uh-oh. Rug situation's not so good. Um, that's gonna make the... Oh, no. I think we need to have a wall here so I have space for my tiles. Could the first floor bedroom be a basement instead or a teen basement in the garage? Um, I don't really want to have uh, a basement in this house because I don't know where the staircase will go. I'm not trying to have this be the kitchen. That's not really, like, on my bingo card for this build. Um, I don't think. Fun idea in theory, but probably not for this one in particular. Um, I was going to have the garage in this one be an art studio. Um... Well, yeah, so, you know, obviously in real life, a lot of times um, there would be a space in between where this fridge is and the oven. This is unfortunately The Sims. <laughs> um, and so that the space that we, we discuss and we dream of, um, we can't really achieve that as well as I would like to. Um, so it's probably not going to work, unfortunately, at least not in here. That's the wrong color. Maybe a different time. Um, pretend there's like a little tiny divider cabinet. I just don't want to have the fridge in front of the window. Or the, sorry, the oven in front of the window. It's not my vibes. Um, it does happen in real life, those things being right next to each other. Especially in like really small kitchens. So it's not that abnormal. Um, people have really strong opinions about that. Uh, as you will uncover in chat. <laughs> But it's not really that weird. <laughs> it's fine. Um, 
Okay. Island? I don't really want to... I think I'd rather have a dining table than an island. It's really only very small in here, so... Yeah, like, the oven in front of the window, imagine how greasy the window would get if the oven was right there. So it's okay next to the fridge for this. Um, okay, anyway, it really depends on the size of your kitchen, and, like, layouts are always different in these sorts of things. Um, there is no absolutely, definitively correct way to do it, but <laughs> it's always different, so... Um, maybe I'll do just the three chairs, because that might fit a little bit better. There's still more walking space. I like that shade of blue. And then, what I was thinking... Um, where... I'm looking for a kid's room. Speaking of beach theme, I read a book called Beach Read yesterday. <laughs> Finished the whole thing yesterday. I liked it. Um, kids room. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um. Let's see. Maybe. Ooh, hanging plant. People love those. That'll make them happy if they hate the kitchen. This will help to step it up. Okay. Um, light green color. That's pretty, see? These chairs are from Dream Home Decorator. The chairs that I've got going on in there. Okay. Beach vibes. Um, beach vibes. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna read all of Emily Henry's books. Uh, that was the first one I had read of her books, but everyone speaks so highly of them. <laughs> so, uh, I would- I have plans to read them all eventually. Not in a row, though. Um, she had me crying at the end of that book. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, anyway, all people speak very highly of all of her books, so I'd like to read them. Um, Okay, I don't know. Maybe... Also, uh, cancer theme in that book. It's not a spoiler, really. It's just kind of is what it is, but her mom has cancer in that book, so... Just warning you. <laughs> in case you're like me. <laughs> and, um... That's something you need to worry about. <laughs> um, okay. I want to get some sort of... Maybe like that. This coffee table is quite big. You love my sweater? Oh, thanks! I got this sweater a while back on ThreadUp. Um, it's it's a pink cardigan and I like it. Oh, wicker. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> we have to use this couch because I'm really set on this, um... I'm really set on this color of the couch. But we can try and use, like, the wicker chair from the laundry pack. She is a little bit ugly, though. What other packs have wicker furniture? This one is wicker, not the vibes for this particular build. Oh, I put laundry in this house and I didn't give them a, a hamper. Sorry, here, you can have two. Um, this thing? maybe could be cute also. Some little wicker shelves. Island living chair. Oh, that's true. Island living might have some furniture that could work for this. This one's not really the exact vibes, but it does have like a I love the beach sort of aspect to it. I don't think I want to use the hanging egg chair. I don't think- I think that one might be too much. There's also this one that could maybe be kind of interesting. And that has some more color to it. But I think I like this one better. Okay, then... Something like... I'm lost. This. Okay. Um, 
maybe oh there's like wicker lighting too oh really shelby thanks for coming by it's good to see you that's really nice of you to say <laughs> i hope you enjoy your time with us um the one i'm looking for is this thing this sim loves the beach see beach vibes okay i think that's kind of cute You can kind of see what we're going for, at least. <laughs> Maybe we could get some of, you know, the debug pictures. Um, this thing has like slight palm tree vibes. That could be good too. But you know those debug pictures from, oh my God, my hair is bothering me so much, from Island Living. Um, we can try and use some of those as well. Let's see. Aquarium, oh, maybe. Reminds you of an Airbnb you stayed at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that. Like they have these pretty fairy lights in the back too. Maybe I will give these sims a... I had talked about giving them a pool and then changed my mind, but we can try and fit one in the end. See how it goes. Okay, let's not put too much over there so it doesn't get too much into it. An aquarium's an interesting idea though. Okay. Those tiles, not really screaming beach. These tiles have some potential, still not really speaking to me. Those tiles maybe match the kitchen a bit better, but it's hard to say. I don't know. We can pretend that's like a shell, the shape that they have. <laughs> Let's pretend it's in the shape of a shell. <laughs> How about that? Um, I'm looking for tiny living again. Tiny living, tiny living, this. Give that to them. About those flip flop lights. Yeah, I wanna use them, but I think I'm worried about putting them down here for fear of it being like too obvious and out there like i'm i'm worried that if we put the flip-flop lights in this room we can use them somewhere in the build but i don't want it to be like too much if i put a flip-flop light like right in the middle of everything it's like almost too in your face to have flip-flop lights in here does that make sense at all to you in a kid's room oh a kid's room is maybe an idea for the flip-flop lights we could try something like that. What is a flip-flop light? Oh, it is exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> it is a light that is flip-flops. It's like a hanging fairy light thing with flip-flops. It's from the, the holiday pack. It could be cute for like a kid's room or something though. Cause that, it really screams beach maybe in a way that is too much. <laughs> you say I put flip-flop lights in every room? <laughs> I mean, we could. That would be interesting. Interesting is a good word for that. Okay, I'm gonna keep scooting this back until it's too far back, that's good. Um. Oh, 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 this comes in that peachy color that we've been using. You've heard of beachy. Now let's try peachy. <laughs> okay, we were gonna try and get some of those debug photos of the ocean to put over here. Kimster and Luna and Lee, thank you for the subs. Um, if we had a wicker basket to cover the holder of that plant, we can look. We can look at some more of the laundry day stuff too. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm looking for island living. There we go. So, oh, these are quite big, actually. Bigger than I thought. Um, that one's cool. We could size them down a bit. Just stack a couple of them. Annoyingly, you can't change the color of the frame, but... I don't think that is like too big of a deal. I think that could be okay. Um, 
Isn't there a plant that comes in a wicker basket? Yeah, there is, but the color of it? You're thinking of the one from Cottage Living? This one has like kind of messed up interior lighting. It's a little dark, um, which isn't necessarily bad, but... Okay, let's do... Was I gonna get tiny? No, sorry. Oh no, I yawned again. Sorry, 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 sorry. Laundry day, laundry day is what I'm looking for. Cause they have some more little things. Laundry day, it literally has a whole line of furniture that's called wicker whims. But it doesn't really, it's not my vibes. But we can use this, we can have that thing. Um, Let's go into the everyday clutter kit again. So we can try and get a couple more of these things. Maybe some bags by the front door. Maybe we can, oh, fishing. Oh my goodness. It's perfect. Maybe I scoot this door over and I put the little fishing rod there. <laughs> Okay, Eliza, Uma, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um, yeah, Wicker has good beach vibes. Exactly, you get it. I'll give them this thing. And maybe a little plant, too. Where's... I want this one. Wicker whims? Yeah. Um, Wicker Whims is a, it's a mod, it's a, like, not safe for work, literal, uh, sex mod for The Sims. Um, that's not a joke, Google at your own risk. Um, <laughs> but The Sims team is referencing it with the Wicker Whims, uh, line of furniture in the game. <laughs> so. Anyway, um. I felt like I should just be blunt there with what it is so we don't have to risk people Googling it and not understanding <laughs> what they were getting into. So, um, anyway. <laughs> uh, laundry day. Maybe we could get... Hmm. I don't know. I was looking for, like... No, it's seasons. It's seasons what I'm looking for. They have like a little basket of summer fun. I don't know if that's a good idea to go right here. That's probably a good patio thing. Yeah, I mean, it has other stuff in it too. And there are like, um, there's, there's like graphic and less graphic versions to it. Um, but at its core, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> so... Anyway, um, usually we try to talk about it on stream. Um, well, not for any reason other than just like, I don't really wanna, it's a family friendly stream, so. Uh, but also I ask that you please don't talk about it in my Discord server. It seems like it would be a given, but you know, don't talk about things like that in my server. <laughs> Landon and Red and Dianus and Eliza, thanks for the subs. Um, yeah, there's a mod called Wonderful Whims that um, is a little different vibes, so. more uh like not as graphic i guess and has some interesting features okay shall i use this tile then your cat is one inch from your face oh my god <laughs> she's hanging out hope she's hanging out um okay maybe something like this in a nice light color perhaps Oh, I like that. She's purring into your nose. Which one? Not which nose, but which cat <laughs> is the question I am asking. <laughs> Juno. Classic. Okay, maybe you go over here and then I could get... Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. I have a better idea. Let's do... Where did the... Okay, like this, maybe? Because I put the toilet over here and that gives me a little bit of extra space here for a bigger sink situation. Ocean decals from the bathroom clutter kit. I guess we can maybe use something like that. I don't know if I want to be so blunt in my um, decorating 
Like the ocean decals are kind of... I'm looking to see if there's anything else. But the ocean decals are from the bathroom clutter kit. And they are really... Beachy. Like, like this kind of takes it to a new level. You know, which is maybe a bit more than I was prepared for. Boat wallpaper? Oh, well, yeah, of course. But we're gonna put that in, like, the kids' room, probably. Kids' bathroom? Well, we don't have a kids' bathroom. This is, like, the shared bathroom for everybody. The house is quite small. You know what we could do is get more of the debug stuff from Island Living for this wall. We could use those uh, decals in one of the kids' rooms, though, if we wanted to. Island living... I gotta stop touching my face. My hair is bothering me so much. <laughs> I gotta stop. I need to get it together. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um, okay. Something like this and like this. We'll put those here on this wall. Very ocean-y. That's fun. Use them once to make an ocean-themed nursery. Yeah, isn't that so cute? I like that. Little butterfly clips might be good. Yeah, I have a bunch of clips and stuff. Um, I just haven't really... I haven't mastered the art of what to do with my hair, specifically underneath these headphones. Because um, I'm so... If I... If it touches anything, it bothers me. So anyway, I haven't mastered the art of how to get it out of my face with the headphones on that I don't hate. <laughs> I've tried some things, <laughs> but I'm not, I like it most of the time. It's like when I have headphones on is when I'm like, oh my God, I shouldn't have cut my hair. Um, but it's, it's just a headphone problem really. Um, bobby pins, well that's a duh. Yeah, that's like an obvious choice. I don't know if I like how it looks though. Anyway, I'm not asking for advice really. I'm just complaining. <laughs> I've tried a lot of things. I'm picky. <laughs> I'm picky about it. It's not helping. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> um, okay. Do you want to be... Maybe we could get a couple towels in here and kind of a fun color. We might try a different wallpaper. I like this tile, but I almost want to have something that's got like... Oh, I don't know. Maybe these are fine. Maybe I'll do these in yellow though. Because the yellow looks good with it. Colorful towels from going together. Yeah, I used those in the last build, so I don't know if I should use them again. These are so cute, and they they do have some, like, little fishy sorts of swatches. Um, like, that one has literal fish on it, but I never know if I should use them in, like, all of the builds or not, or if that's too much. Um... Okay. I gotta stop complaining about it on stream because it gets me really anxious when everybody talks about my hair. <laughs> I don't really want the whole conversation to be about my, ha my hair and how I look. I prefer to think about literally anything else. <laughs> if that's okay. <laughs> Hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. Um, okay, light blue is good. I think the Parenthood pack has... I don't know if any of these are... Isn't there one that has whales on it? Or is that... Okay, that is the one I'm thinking of. That might be too... Too obvious. That one kind of matches our color scheme a little. It doesn't match the wallpaper, but we could say it goes together. Thoughts on apple cider? Ew. My thoughts are ew on apple cider. I'm not really a big... I don't know. A cooked apple and like the taste of apple. I'll eat like an actual literal apple, but there's something about like apple drinks, apple desserts, that sort of thing that's kind of an ick for me. I don't really know how to explain it. Does it keep freezing for you? Ah, uh, I think that might be on your end. I just had to move, I had to move my cup so I could check. Um, I think that might be on your end, unfortunately, the freezing. Um, cause it's not freezing from what I can tell on my end. Um, if your internet is struggling, it might be having a hard time loading the stream. So that might be part of it. Isn't there a whale in the shower curtain in Parenthood? Yeah, there is. Um, what? Will you not? Oh, I have the wrong one. I thought I grabbed this. 
I like the glass shower, though. I think. So I, I might try and keep the glass one. Do I have a Stanley Cup? Yeah, I do. Giant, ridiculous Stanley Cup. I also dented the straw. I don't know if you can tell, really. Probably not that closely. I dented the straw last week because I dropped it on its head and it landed on the straw and now it's dented. So that's no good. I probably could flip it upside down and keep the straw on the inside. But I dented it because I dropped it on the straw. <laughs> so, oops. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um, anyway, it's kind of fun, I guess. Have a little uh, bit of character to it, if you will. Maybe some paneling would be cute. Is paneling kind of giving beach house at all? I don't know. Should we do like a selection of this? All your water bottles are dented. Yeah, I have a lot of dented water bottles too. <laughs> At least this one, I dropped it on its face and it was inside, which doesn't sound like a good thing, but it is. Trust me. Um, Cause I have, I have uh, dropped my water bottles outside before and that's worse. They usually get a little bit more banged up when I like drop them getting in and out of the car or something, as you can probably imagine. So. The metal gets all kinds of messy. Um, the wall next to the fridge is unpainted. Oh, good call. It probably is. Well, it is, I guess, because you said so. <laughs> you had one fully break in half dropping it outside once? Oh my god. That's no good. A water bottle? Was it like a plastic one? Did it shatter at all? I could see that happening to me. That's not fun. <laughs> I should probably save. Oh, I should. Yeah, there's some. Um, you can get replacement straws for these things. Um, I don't know. It was plastic, but a thicker plastic. Oh, and then it it broke. Yikes. Yeah, Dan has started to practice driving a little bit. Um, Dan got his uh, learner's permit the other day, last week. Um, so he can officially drive now with an adult in the car so he can practice driving. <laughs> Um, which is fun and also it's been very scary for him like like the build-up to this because um, Obviously he's from the UK, you know, it's just a, a different ball game um, Driving here and it makes him nervous, but he went and he took his driving permit test He got a hundred percent on the written exam portion and now he has his learner's permit. So um, Yay <laughs> Very exciting. So we've been practicing a little bit um He's driven a couple times. Uh, I don't know what bed I want to use. I'm thinking a bed that has pink. To bring out the pink from in this. Like, I'm kind of thinking that. Pink and yellow with the blue. Um, you think driving in the UK is way harder? Um, I don't know. It all is, I mean, it's relative, right? So, I, I'll, uh... Acknowledge that your driving test is harder um, The like actual driving portion. I don't think that your theory test is probably much different than what ours is, but um, your driving test is probably harder Learning to drive a manual car is more difficult than um, Learning to drive an automatic car, but that just depends on what kind of car you're learning to drive and what license you're trying to get um, But I don't think that like the UK specifically <laughs> is like worse than America <laughs> As far as actually driving on the road goes, <laughs> um, driving a manual car is a different different story. But um, okay, I think I think that's pretty. Maybe I'll make this pink. Yeah, a lot. Of, I mean, some people in America drive on uh, manual cars. Not everybody does. Some people do. I've never done that. Um, some people have cars like that. So. Um, yeah, and it's it's very regional here uh, in the U.S. too. Like Florida's driving test is different than every other driving test in the country. They all have their own. So, anyway, you can't really make sweeping statements about <laughs> about it like that. Um. Okay, I think perhaps I get this. I don't know. I'll give them a little desk chair. 
Your car, is, your car is a hybrid auto and manual. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I've only ever driven an automatic car. I've never had a manual car. Um, my dad has had a manual car for uh, large chunks of his life, but he likes driving. Um, I thought that was quite dumb of him when he bought a manual car when all of his kids were like about to be of the age to learn to start driving because as if any of them want to learn how to drive a manual car. My brother, his car, the kid went out and bought a manual car on purpose because he likes to drive. He thinks it's fun. My siblings and I, or my brother and I specifically, we are not the same. I hate driving. <laughs> hate, hate, hate. <laughs> I do not like it at all. But that's, I mean, whatever, Brett. That's your choice, I guess. Um... You were told by your parents they would teach you to drive manual before you were allowed to drive you were allowed to drive automatically they never taught you yeah i don't know um we didn't have access to a manual car when i was learning to drive anyway to learn on my parents both learned on manual cars um it's not as common here as it is in some places like like not as many people have manual cars here it's like whereas in like the uk it seems like everybody has one it's not really like that so much here at least not to that extent. Um, I like this little color scheme actually in here. I think this is really cute. <laughs> I'm gonna use this, uh, the the little lights on that wall. Um, okay. Hi, uh, Monty. Thanks for the three month resub. No, Dan never drove in the UK. He never had a reason to. He lived like close to a train station that was very close to London, so. I think it's also a lot more common in the UK for people to uh, not get their license for a long time. Like, I, I know a lot more adults in the UK that don't drive than I do here in America. Um, I got my license when I was 21, so no judgment here. <laughs> this is this is a judgment-free zone. But I think it's just not as common to, like, get it when you're young. It depends where you live, too, but a lot of Dan's friends don't have their licenses either, so... Um, Anyway, it really depends where you are and also what you do and like, you know, do you need to drive to get to work or are you able to take public transit? They have more public transit there than I have in Central Florida though, just generally. So that definitely helps as well. Um, and it can be like kind of expensive to learn how to drive too. So that's kind of a determining factor also. Um, high school years. Should I give them like some makeup maybe? I don't know how old the Sim who lives in this room is, but I like how it's vague. Um, okay, let's try not to put too much for fear of this desk not working anymore, but that should be okay. I think I like that. I'm worried about what else to add. <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna have this house be a cheaper one and look at what we've ended up with. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it is not a cheaper one. <laughs> like not even remotely, but that's okay. Um, something like that maybe? Can it just be white actually? I don't know. I don't know. It costs that much to get your driver's license? A thousand? Like, cause you have mandatory, um, uh, like you have mandatory lessons and stuff. They don't make you take driving lessons in Florida. If Dan wanted to, he could have taken technically cause he's over 18. When you're under 18, there's, it's a little bit harder to get your license, but when you're over 18, if he wanted to, he could have taken the like driving test and the written test on the same day and gotten his license that day. And he's never driven a car before. Obviously he didn't and he wouldn't have passed it. But like, if you wanted to, you don't need to like prove evidence to them that you've like learned to drive. It just makes you um, just take the test in Florida. So who's to say if that's a terrible idea? Um, I don't know, I think it kind of is, but <laughs> that is the way that it works here, so. And again, it's different in different states. Um, I think Dan, when he got his permit last week, I think we paid like, $55 or something for his um, learner's permit so he can drive like with an adult in the car. Anyway. 
depends. Um, I don't know what it's like in other states, but that's how it is here. Um, I don't know what wallpaper to use. That one's fun. Let's try it. I don't know. He doesn't have the physical card yet either. He has a paper one. Um, Cause they have to normally, everyone I've ever known that has gotten their learner's permit in Florida, they come home with the card, but because he's an immigrant, they had to like send it off to the state to check his residency before he was able to get it. So they're going to mail his card to us. Um, so he does not have it yet. Um, okay. Maybe we could do, I think I'll have this one be a little bit more of a kid's room, I think. Yeah, in some places they always mail. Here, they're able to print it for you at the DMV a lot of the time. It might depend on the DMV though. It might not be every single one they can do that, but I don't know. The one that I've been to, <laughs> they do. <laughs> um, kind of, that also depends on the state. All depends where you are. Only get paper as far as you know in Pennsylvania. Yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, here they just, as in my experience at least, they've always just printed it for you at the DMV. Um, uh, Palace and Four Eyed, thank you for the subs, by the way. Uh, I don't know what I want. Hmm. Oh, base game, how about this one? Cause this comes in like, oh, that's very samey, those colors. I don't think I mind too much though. It's only a kid's room. They'll print first ones, but change of renewals get mailed. Oh, interesting. When I got my license renewed, cause I renewed my license like a couple months ago. Um, I guess like close to my birthday. So a little bit more than a couple months ago, <laughs> but I, I renewed my license recently and they printed it, the fresh one right there. Um, it took two seconds, but um, they just renewed it. Um, maybe the kid likes science. Oh, I'm okay with that, that idea. I think that's kind of cute. We can give him a science table. Science table. You have surprisingly found Florida out of all the states you've lived in to have the most efficient DMV process. You think Florida has an efficient DMV process? You think my home state has an efficient DMV? I don't have a lot of things to compare it to. Um, there's not really a lot of room for a science table in there, in here, is there? Um, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I accept. <laughs> it's because Florida privatized the DMV. Do we have a privatized DMV? I don't even know anything about that. That is a bizarre thing to say out loud. Okay, um, <laughs> well. Interesting. Well, <laughs> well, they don't mean, they aren't trying to call it pathetically easy when they're saying efficient. I mean, it's just typically quite a slow process. Anytime you have to go to the DMV. Um, I can't compare that to other places though, really. I don't have a lot of personal experience with other states, so. Um, okay, that looks bad. Don't like. We can give them these. Maybe that's better on this wall. I don't know if I would call it efficient, but maybe, I, I don't know what it's like compared to other places having not lived in other places. So maybe it is better than yours. Okay, going to the DMV is one of those things. It's kind of like a, an ordeal, you know? Um, okay. You like the yellow as an accent in here? Oh, I have not kept that. Don't like that either. Maybe like, I don't know, this is quite high up. I guess the, unfortunately, and you hate to say it, but the blinds from My First Pet Stuff probably what we need for this. Uh, the DMV is the Department of Motor Vehicles. It's where you would go um, to like get your license, you know, uh, do any sort of uh, 
things of that nature, <laughs> like <laughs> ID stuff and, uh, you know, all these things. Um, car stuff, various things like that. Sometimes, um, I don't know, lot stuff like that, though. Update your car title. <laughs> I don't know. Where you live, you can do your DMV stuff online and they send you the new one in the mail. Interesting. In Florida? I have always thought this was so weird, but in Florida, you can renew your license online, but you can only do it like twice ever. And you have to do it every eight years, obviously. Maybe not obviously, that's how it is here at least. Um, so I didn't want to renew it online because I was like, what if I'm gonna need to do it in the future? <laughs> Um, so I went in to renew my license when I had to, because they said you can only do it twice. I don't really understand that, but that's what it says on the website. Um, that makes no sense to me, but whatever. Um, anyway, so I didn't, I went in because I was like, you know, just in case, what if I'm going to need to do it? Someday. Why'd you ruin it if you just got it though? Oh, I got my license in 2021, but I got my permit um, when I was 16. And so the license, the renewal period, the eight years started when they technically first issued my license, which was when I got my permit when I was 16. So it had been eight years since I got my permit. I hadn't had my license for eight years, but it had the same expiration date. Um, Okay, I think maybe you could have, oh, we could get a little backpack for you. That could be good. It does seem kind of odd, but I guess, I mean, that, like, that's when the license was technically issued, I guess, or whatever. Um, I don't know. I think you would think that getting a fresh, like, because I literally, like, got my driving license, took the test, and they you know, did all the things again where they like check your eyes and stuff. You'd think that that would reset the clock, but whatever, <laughs> it didn't, so. Um. Okay. Volcano on the dresser. Oh, that could be cute. We could get some of those little debug things from Parenthood. Some of the little decorations, the ones that you can craft. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. You guys don't do the vertical license where you live for people under 21. In Florida, um, and you might think this is like totally so strange, um, but in Florida, if you are under 21, your license is vertical. And then when you turn 21, it becomes horizontal. It's supposed to be like an easy way for them to tell if you are of drinking age. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, that's how they do it here. A lot of places are like that. What's a vertical license? Well, I mean like literally the card is printed vertically. You know how most licenses are printed like this? It's just rotated. So, um, in New York, they are so strict and won't let you buy alcohol with a vertical license even if you were over 21 and it hasn't expired. Yeah, cause a lot of people, um, they get to be over 21 and they still have a horizontal one or a vertical one, sorry, cause it hasn't expired yet, but they're like weird about it. Um, it's very strange. Even if the date is correct. Um, yeah, and it, that is funny, right? Because, like, who? no one's going to have a fake vertical license, <laughs> you know? Anyway. Um, yeah, it even says, I think it said on mine a while back. It was, like, turns 21 at, I think it says it, like, in bright red text. Anyway. Um, on the old, on my old one. I think that's a USA thing. Oh, well, yeah, duh. It's a very American thing. We're talking about American licenses. I don't know anything about other countries' licenses. That's how it, how they do it with the licenses here. Yeah, it even says it on there. It turns 21 on, like, whatever, whatever, on such year. <laughs> so. Um, okay, I like this bed, I think. I think that's kind of cute. And then we'll give them a small bathroom up here. What bed is that? Oh, it's the new growing together one. It's kind of nice, right? 
You loved your vertical license photo? Oh, I hated mine. Well, mine was from when I was 16, so. Um, I didn't like it. <laughs> I used to think that I, look I looked older in my license photo from when I was 16 than I do in my new one. Because I had, like, massively overplucked my eyebrows. And I had, like, way longer hair. And I also put on more makeup for that picture because I was, like, excited to take my license photo <laughs> for my permit. Um, so I used to think that I looked older in, in my permit photo. Um, even though I was, like, only 16 in it. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Um, okay. So, I don't know what wallpaper to use. I use this wallpaper in most- Oh, we should get some more of the- of this stuff that's okay with me now you want to see the picture i don't think i have it anymore i didn't look old but um i think i looked older than now at least i usually stay live uh for another like oh it's already 6 46 oh my god i'm usually live until 7 eastern time um so like usually about the next 15 minutes or so i'll try and finish the interior of this build though I don't want to, I need to get more of it done, to be honest. We're never going to finish. Um, you look so weird in your ID card picture. I don't, I like mine because I, mine was only taken in August, my new one. <laughs> so I feel okay with it. I think it looks all right. I am, uh, I'm comfortable with my new one. <laughs> okay. Um, that's good, right? Kind of beachy. Bye, Hope. Have a good dinner. What are you gonna make? Oh, you're leaving. You're not gonna answer, are you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, like, tried to cut you off before you said you were gonna leave. I, um, I am having, uh, tofu stir-fry for dinner tonight. That's my plan. You're going to meet a friend at a pizza bar. Oh, fun! Oh, that's gonna be a nice day. You have a good time. Bye. <laughs> you like your European ID card picture but more than your Florida one? Oh, really? Um, that's interesting. I'm sorry. <laughs> your new one you don't like as much? <laughs> I'm not that worried about my ID card pictures, to be honest. Um, I don't feel that insecure about it. So I guess that's good. You're waiting on your Applebee's right now? Oh, nice. <laughs> Sassy, thanks for the sub. Okay, um, do you think that, oh, 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 you know what, Growing Together has, like, this mirror, I don't know, that could maybe pass as being, like, kind of the beachy vibes that we're going for in here. Maybe I'll give them their little wicker thingy. I kind of like how that looks in here. It's It does give beach like I wanted it to. <gasps> Shella, hello! Thank you for the raid, everybody! Welcome in. I'm building my blue suburban neighborhood. It's, it's literally a giant neighborhood of all blue suburbans. <laughs> um, it's four houses. We furnished this one already. Um, it's kind of got like a red accent color in there. Um, now this one that we're doing, this person is supposed to be, like, really into the beach. So I'm trying to decorate it as if they're, like, a huge fan of the beach. And I'm putting some, like, little beachy things kind of around. <laughs> so that's what we're up to at the moment. Um, we're making ourselves a little beachy house <laughs> in the blue suburban build. Uh, but it's, it's kind of cute. I like it. We have a little street and everything. You're playing Minecraft. You only died twice. Oh, good! Oh, that's exciting. I'm proud of you, Shella. That's- that's character development. I love Minecraft. I always have a good time when I play Minecraft. Shella, here's a fun question. How was- how was the chat with, like, the strangers? Was it extremely chaotic for you? Because whenever I've played Minecraft on stream, the people that come in- oh my goodness. They are- they are- I don't know. It wasn't too bad? Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, it's like you get some uh, trolls, at least in my experience, when I play. When I play Minecraft. <laughs> Do I see messages from not subscribers? Of course, Vita. Of course. Um, it, my life would be quite boring if I only read sub messages. 
I don't have time to try and filter through all that. <laughs> so, don't worry, I can see um, I can see all of them. Anyway, I like Minecraft. The, it's interesting, it's just one of those categories, I think, where it's like a whole different, different ball game than the Sims community, so sometimes there's... People are more likely to troll it, like strangers, um, than they are to troll the Sims categories, so. Um, just going to be an apartment? Yeah, that's the idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and um, make each of these their own unit. So it'll be like a building to play with the rent pack in. And this house is beach themed, yeah. It's, uh, it belongs to a person who's a big fan of the beach, is the idea. Oh, ask about your shader, that makes sense. M Minecraft shaders are so cool. They look so beautiful. That's a, you're smart for installing one before you played. Um, okay, so that's most of the interior of the upstairs. We have to do the interior of this downstairs bedroom still. I think this one might end up becoming a teen's room of some sort. Um, okay, none of these fit really, Never mind. Snowy escape shower divider. Um, we could do that. I'm a little worried about making it too tight in here. There's one from, um, there's one of these from, what's it called as well? I guess you could size it down maybe. Um, but there's one of these from the university pack too. They should still be able to access the toilet, right? We can maybe do that. I don't know. Okay, let's pick a bed. I think for the bed, you know the one from high school years? Oh, I should save. Oh my goodness. Oh, the lighthouse figurine. Oh, we should use that. Where can I put that? There's like no space. Maybe I put it over here. We also talked about getting a fish bowl of some sort and I haven't done that yet either. The lighthouse is cute. That's a good call. Beach. Um. What can I, oh, you know what we should get? People keep saying the um, the fishnet things, but I don't know if I wanna do those. I, I'm not super into the idea of putting literal nets on the wall. Um, we could always, we have the fishing lure wall decor. We could always get literal fish. Oops, not, not a fish book. We could get like literally fish to put on the wall if we wanted to. They could have like maybe a, maybe they've gone fishing and they've got a couple fish mounted. That is just vile. Anytime I see a thing like that in real life, it gives me such a disgusting ick deep in my heart. Like it's so, ugh. <laughs> You want me to change the couch? Oh, we based the entire color scheme off the couch. Um, you don't like the wood tones of those? Oh, really? There is fishing rod wall decor. Yeah, I used it up here. We do have the fishing rod. And like antlers. Yeah, so, so ick. So ick when people have stuff like that. Um, maybe fish tank instead of the mounted fish. Well, there's not really space for the fish tank is the problem. We've got a lot of these areas filled up. We can do something else. We don't have to do mounted fish. Well, I'm filtered by fish right now. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this could be cute. That's simple enough. I like that. Fish tank in the kids room. Well, I don't know if I wanna get like a giant fish tank. We can see. So in this room, I was gonna use, cause this one has kind of like that wicker swatch to it. Um, okay, that's giving blue suburban. So that's the vibes. I don't know. Maybe they could have like, we could do a slightly darker color in their room. I'm okay with that. Is this a fish themed blue suburban? It's a beach themed blue suburban. It's meant for a person who's like a big fan of the beach. Obviously they don't live on the beach, 
but they're a big fan of the beach, the people who live here. So they've uh, decorated their house to be sort of beachy on the inside, despite them not living near the beach. Um, okay, can they woohoo in the bed against the wall like that? I'm not too worried about that because it's going to be a teen's room. <laughs> Um, so I'm not that worried about it, <laughs> personally, um, but the answer to your question is no, they cannot. Okay. Um, there's a beautiful lighthouse painting from Cats and Dogs. Oh, I always forget about that one. There is a lighthouse painting from Cats and Dogs, and we wanted to use the lighthouse swatch of this. That one has, like, really nice colors to it, too. Oh gosh, we should try and use that somewhere. What if I put that like where this thing is? Cause that's not using the same thing again. Thought they fixed that and we could scoot. No, they can scoot so they can sleep in the bed against the wall, but they will not scoot to woohoo in the bed against the wall. Um, unfortunately. I love that lighthouse picture. That's actually really pretty colors. I really like that a lot. Should we do an accent wall behind the bed? No, I don't like it. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that though. Um, again, it's a teen's room. I'm picturing only one sim sleeping in here, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, okay. Yeah, I love the painting in the hallway. That was a good idea. I hadn't really even thought about that. So good call, whoever um, suggested that one. This is the second house that we're furnishing, Maddie. So we still have two left to do, um, unfortunately for us. <laughs> we're not quite uh, we're not quite getting anywhere just yet with this. We still have two left to do. Um, we're having fun with it though. So we've done the, the front half today and we'll, finish the next ones. We're gonna work on it some more tomorrow as well. We've been kind of slow with this today, uh, but I don't know, we've been talking a lot. <laughs> I'll be faster tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> I'll be better, I'll be better. We've been, we've been chatting a lot because we had much to discuss, you know? I didn't stream yesterday, so we had things to talk about. No, they're not all gonna be beachy. They're all gonna be different. Um, you can kind of see these are super different vibes. This one was supposed to be beachy themed. The other ones are not. This one is like the same who lives here likes the beach. Was kind of the vibe. Um, they're not all going to be the same. That's no fun. We'll try and make them all a little different. Oh no. Okay, that kind of... Oh, I did stream yesterday. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was live in the morning. I don't normally stream on Sunday. <laughs> I was live yesterday. <laughs> now that you say it, actually I was. <laughs> well, so yeah, the thing is, I know you're joking, but they are different styles of house. They're the same color scheme, but they're different wallpapers and they are different styles of house, even if they're the same color scheme, so. Um, anyway, I was play I played House Flipper yesterday morning. So I was here yesterday. You're right. Okay, let me try and put, what if the bed went like this? Um, maybe I put it like slightly in front of, I don't like how I have to scoot it so far off the wall, but I'm wondering if I could do it like that. Cause that, no, I don't like it. Never mind. This place is confusing me. We can give him like a reading chair or something, I guess. Um, tiny living. I'm picturing something along the lines of like this rug. Okay, and then like, oh, you know what we could use? The high school year's chair. It's really good for this, that cute high school year's chair. It looks like, like this. Kind of has a fun accent color too. It brings in some yellow. That's nice. Oh, I like that. And then we have some yellow there too with that thing. Okay. I want to get a couple bits from the Nifty Knitting Pack. 
because I really like the idea of like, oh, sorry, I'm yawning again. Sorry, everybody. I like the idea of like some little clutter, maybe the like an octopus and a turtle. I don't know. Just some cute things for them to have here on their dresser. Okay. Um. Oh, it'd be cute if they had, maybe they could, what if we gave them some knitting supplies? We could get a little craft cart and then like the yarn. Oh, that's fun. That gives us another accent color too. Oh, I like that, okay. That's good. And then I was picturing like, maybe this to go on the wall right here. Oh, Wiggly, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. That's very generous of you. Thank you so much. Um, and Ashley and Cassie and Sharon Short, thank you for the subs too. Um, okay, and then I'll give them, oh, they could have this. That's cute and cozy for their bedroom. Maybe a, a mirror on the wall too, like right there, okay. Let's not add too much else into there for fear of making it too busy. But we do have to do the rest of the porch and stuff still, because we haven't done that yet. So we can add in like, cats and dogs, a couple of these sorts of things. Um, Outrun, when you gift subs, you can choose people or you can gift them sort of randomly. It's kind of up to you um, and what you choose to do. That person just there, they told Twitch, hey, I want to pay for 10 subs. And then Twitch randomly assigned those 10 subs to people in chat. Um, if you wanted to, you could like kind of customize it a bit more and like pick where the sub goes. Um, that's very much up to you though. It kind of, it depends what, what you want to do and um, how you want to gift them. So you could gift an individual. You could like click on a name in chat and gift it to them specifically, or you could just gift and hand them out to people generally or you know whatever is your preference. Um, you can't do multiple at a time unless you uh, gift them randomly. If you wanted to do multiple at a time, you have to just tell Twitch to do like 10 random ones. Um, you can't like gift, like a, you can't like basically like almost like add to cart. You can't really do that and like queue up a bunch of specifically chosen ones. Um, do we? Oh, I don't know. I don't really love the hot tub situation back here. I don't know. Is it four houses total? Yeah, it is. It's, um, there's four houses and then like a little s s small park, sorry, um, in the back. It's very skinny. There will be a small park back there too, eventually. All right. Pool? Yeah, that's kind of... I'm leaning a little bit towards pool as a concept as well. I think I'm a little bit nervous about it taking up too much space. But maybe that's like silly of me to worry so much about. Um, it could be really small, like it doesn't have to be... I guess it could be kind of like that. The pool underneath the fairy lights is pretty fun though, isn't it? That lines up nicely with the rest of the house. We could get lounge chairs. These fairy lights are from the, um, oh, these like wicker ones are so good. The fairy lights are from the toddler stuff pack, believe it or not. You might not expect it. <laughs> you, you probably wouldn't expect the toddler stuff pack to have like really nice um, fairy lights, but it does. So, okay. I have a little umbrella. It's nice and blue. Will it be on the gallery? Yeah, I have a unfurnished version on the gallery already. Um, Cause people beg, 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 beg to have the unfurnished versions before I'm done with them. Um, so I have uploaded the unfurnished version already. I posted it on Saturday um, and I'll hopefully have this done tomorrow. Completely furnished. No, the street's not debug. Um, these are debug cars, but this is just a floor tile. And, and these are like little lines from spot A. It isn't like a debug item, it's just flooring that we put down and decorated to look like a street, kinda. Um, okay. Whenever you build a pool, you have an urge to build a fence around it because that's the law here. Yeah, in this case, this pool would be fine um, where I am because there's a fence. It's like a co totally closed in, fenced in backyard. Um, 
so the pool would be fine in this house the way that it is because it's not open to anyone else um so that's up to code but yeah you have to have a fence around them those little flowers that i'm using are from the romantic garden stuff pack by the way just saw somebody ask okay we'll get a pool ladder yeah don't worry i haven't forgotten we'll do some lights for it too i'm just putting in the landscaping before i forget i want to get them a trash can uh and then in the garage we had talked about in this particular garage trying to do like a an art studio sort of thing that was kind of the initial vision that i had had at least um Yes, Romantic Garden is free. Romantic Garden stuff is free until tomorrow. That's a good call. Um, if you haven't grabbed it yet, the Romantic Garden stuff pack is still free, but only for a little bit longer. So you have to do it now. You have to grab it right now. Or else it's going to go away and you'll have missed out. Um, okay. So maybe... Should we get like a swing set or something? not really a lot of space for it though maybe they don't have a toddler in this house is anything else free is my first pet stuff still free oh they talked about a sandbox didn't they we put monkey bars in the other house we could do a sandbox back here that could be kind of cute oops okay okay amy thank you for the sub gift and hot mess test with their sub cheyenne with the 17 months thank you so much Okay, sand pit. Oh, this is cool. Kitty pool. I don't know. I kind of like the sandbox idea because we've gone for this whole beach theme. So having sand back there is kind of a good idea. I like that concept. Um, I'll give them their pool ladder before I forget. Maybe they should have a pool floaty too. Where is the pool furniture? Am I being so silly? Oh, I filtered my base game, that's why. Um, give them this in the little pastels because I love it so much. Okay. Um, and then for this, I don't think you have to use island living sand. I think as long as you use any sand, they're able to dig in it. Um, it doesn't have to be the island living one. Uh, as long as you have island living and you've put sand, they can dig in the sand. Because they can dig in the Oasis Spring sand, too. Like, just in the base game world, but... It's fun for us to put this, so... Oh, it's gonna delete our, um... Terrain paint, probably. I was making a great effort to not do the terrain paint straight away. <laughs> That's okay. Um, there is a debug. There's, like, a little, uh, bucket and shovel they can get through this fence yeah milk this is a base game fence always have been able to get through this i'm looking for the base game debug bucket and shovel if anybody remembers where abouts in the debug that bucket and shovel are that would be useful like if you remember what you have to scroll past to get to it um i don't know I can't find, I can't find, I can't find, I can't find. Might be up. No? Near the fish? Okay. Near the fish. Let's filter by base game. How many houses we furnish? Oh, we did two, Sammy. This is the second one that we've been furnishing. Oh, we can probably use that somewhere. This is the second house that we've been furnishing today. Just about done with it, too. I want to get a couple more little things added, and then... Um, it's probably down here-ish, right? We said it's near the fish, so... Oh, no, probably down here-ish. They have so many things in debug. Look, there's like a giant truck. <laughs> Swords? Come on, here's what I was looking for. Bucket. Um, so if you're looking for it, look for the swords in debug. <laughs> if you're ever looking for the sand uh, castle stuff, look for the swords. 
Um, okay, so can you get debug on a console? I don't know how cheats work on console, but I think so. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how the cheats really work on console. I'm just gonna give him a handful of toys in this sand pit. Even if the toys don't seem like they're the most useful for it. The answer is yes, you can. Oh, what about the tot what about the tent? Because children can use the tent, even if they're not toddlers. The tent might be kind of a cute feature for the backyard. Because this has become like kind of a family house. So Yeah, I don't I couldn't tell you what the cheat is on console, but you can access it. I just don't know how to. So um where to find the sand? Oh, it's just terrain paint, that sand that I'm using. It's just terrain paint. Oh, that's a stain. I was trying to get the tarmac flooring. Oh, also, this is clipping now. I just remembered. I need to fix that. A flamingo in the garden. We can do that. I can give them a flamingo or two. Cheats are the same? Oh, okay. I don't know how to access the cheat um, panel. I forget what buttons you have to press. Um, this is not the place to come for a console cheat tips. Um, that's the kind of thing that's probably easiest if you Google it. I don't mean that in like a, oh, Google it, like go away and Google it kind of way. I mean that in like a, you probably have an easier time if you look it up because I don't play The Sims on console, so I don't know much. Um, okay, so I was also going to steal this light. No, I don't know when the Sims team's gonna post their next roadmap. The Sims team does not share anything of that nature with me. <laughs> like, not even close to sharing anything like that with me. Um, so I don't have information about when the roadmap is going to be. Um, it would be fun if we knew, we did not. My guess would be, ideally, like, next week. Um, if we're real lucky, they'd post it tomorrow, because they usually try and post one, like, let's get another car in the garage. They usually try and post one um, every quarter. When I say roadmap, they, I mean like when they post that thing that's like, this season of The Sims is gonna have one kit and one update, you know, when they post those sorts of things. Um, but anyway, uh, they haven't really, they don't say that in advance, they just drop it. Um, oftentimes that sort of thing gets posted on Tuesdays. So we have that, I guess, to go off of too. We can sort of anticipate that maybe it'll be on a Tuesday, but. Who's to say? Just can't really know, so. Um, okay, does this come in like a... What about the one from Eco Lifestyle? Does any of that look... Because that's like a canvassy sort of item. What swatches do you have? Okay, see, that's the vibes. That's what we need. I'll get their little art stuff over here. Okay. Sounds good. When do you have plans next? And that's when we can expect the roadmap, is whenever I'm busy next. <laughs> honest, honest, um, we're touring another wedding venue on Thursday afternoon. So Thursday afternoon, I am busy. If they drop the roadmap on Thursday, I'll be mad at them. I, I don't know when to expect it. It might not be this week. It might be next, but um, I I do have plans on Thursday. <laughs> Arguably quite big ones as well, so. <laughs> Thursdays are, um, they're kind of known for this kind of thing too, so that's not a good sign for us. Um, that's when they had availability, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, I toured a wedding venue today too. Exciting stuff. Um, so, thought you were already married? Yeah, but I didn't have a wedding. <laughs> and I would still like to have one. Um, so, okay, let's get a decor box. Anywhere fun? Yeah, I think so. I'm still deciding the degree to which I want to talk about this. I'm really sorry. I probably won't even tell you what day the wedding is going to be on, if I'm being honest with you, um, for like sake of of uh, privacy and safety vibes. I, I might be like real, um, 
uh, annoying about that. <laughs> we haven't booked anything yet, but I might be like real annoying about that. I'm warning you now, just um, cause the internet scares me. I have learned my lesson <laughs> about a few too many times. <laughs> so uh, it'll be like an after the fact uh, kind of thing probably. Um, anyway, unfortunately it's it sucks, but it's I, I assume you guys understand. Um, I don't know. I'll we'll think about it more and decide what seems like a good idea to talk about, but... Okay, they have like kind of a crafty room going on in their garage, I guess. I like that. No offense, but that's probably a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, people have done some creepy things to me. Um, they don't need more avenues for it, you know? <laughs> When Kayla mentioned wedding venues today, my brain immediately went to ask if there were cow plants there because, you know, that's a totally valid thing and they totally exist in real life. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> there was no cow plants there though. So, yeah, anyway, I'm kind of excited. We, um, the place that we toured today was of the two that we're looking at this week, it was my less preferred one. I, I'm a little bit more excited about the one that we're going to on Thursday, and the one on Thursday is cheaper. So, cross your fingers, everybody. <laughs> Hopefully, it seems good. Um, but I'm more interested in that one. So, yeah, I am already married. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have to defend myself for like forever with this one. Um, Dan and I got married uh, in like during COVID and very quickly because we did the fiance visa. You've probably seen the show 90 Day Fiance. Um, it took like two years to get the visa. And when you get it, you move and then you have 90 days to get married. Well, you don't know when you're gonna get the visa and you kind of want to get married really early on in those 90 days so that you can file the adjustment of status faster so you can get your green card faster because otherwise you can't do anything. You can't like leave the country, you can't work. So we were like quite, we had to be quite quick as we knew as soon as he got the visa and he came here, we'd have to get married like within a couple weeks was kind of the situation. Well, it was COVID. His family couldn't come because um, the borders were literally closed. He's from the UK. Um, and I always wanted to have like a wedding wedding, you know? Um, and uh, it's just not been the right time. We like bought a house and stuff and, um, it, you know, his family wasn't able to travel, but now we're kind of in a part where it's like the right time. So I would like to have a wedding wedding. So um, anyway. <laughs> People get really weird about that. They're like, you're already married, but I'm just gonna call it a wedding. Um, not a vow renewal, I don't really care about that. Um, and that's that's the vibes, so. Anyway, and Dan's family can come, so it'll be nice. Um, it'll be just a good time, anyway. Yeah, I'll post pictures and stuff. Um, definitely, definitely. That's not, it's not anytime soon, obviously. You plan these things way far in advance. Um, but. Yeah, people get really bothered about other people's weddings. They're, people are so weird on the internet about stuff like this, so I feel like I need to defend myself almost. <laughs> I need to like learn to just not worry about people's opinions, you know? Um, I mean, I'm not gonna call it a wedding reception because I still wanna have a ceremony smooth toward this. I don't know. Um, so that's the idea. <laughs> I'm just gonna, it's my wedding. I'm calling it my wedding. That's what I want. <laughs> um, so, anyway. No, I haven't bought a dress or anything. Not even close. I we, This is a very recent uh, occurrence. We decided to look at venues first so we could pick a date and then worry about it from there. <laughs> so, this we, there's, there's no plans that have taken place yet. <laughs> no plans. <laughs> we wanted to find a venue first and then, then like, book it and pick a date. So, um, anyway. It's kind of nerve-wracking though, isn't it? <laughs> you had a wedding and a paperwork day like a month later. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Um, yeah, we just went to the courthouse like locally and signed the papers and it was a nice day, but um, just sort of different than I had imagined in my head, you know, because of all the pandemic and the immigration stuff, so. Anyway, how many planning my wedding in the Sims videos do you think you can make? I could do some of that. It might be fun to build a wedding venue and stuff. I might do it afterward. That could be cute. Okay, write that down. I could do a fake one and then build the real one afterward. 
You just gotta be careful. You can't talk about it. I remember like all these other YouTubers, they always like, they didn't say the day they were getting married. They like kept it a secret. But when you think about it, you guys, people come to my house sometimes. Like if people are bold and brave enough to do that, the last thing you need is to give them, like they don't need to know when the wedding is or where it is. <laughs> they don't need to know like where you're gonna be. You know, like <laughs> I I don't mean to be dramatic, but like I need to be careful. <laughs> so <laughs> people are scary. Please don't do that. I literally beg you not to do that. I beg you not to do that. It makes me want to cry and I feel unsafe. So don't do that. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, so <laughs> we don't need people trying to crash the wedding. That's for sure. Uh, Lacey and, and Andra, thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, I'll probably share pictures like the next day, to be honest, VJ. I mean, it's one of those things like, um, to give an example, like when my friends Sasha and Steph were here, when they came to visit a few months ago, we went to Disney and we posted pictures the next day, you know, like once we, we leave the place, we're not there anymore. Um, that's the kind of thing that like, just, you know, wait till it's over. So it's safe. <laughs> um, and you're not posting your live location. That's actually good advice, honestly, for everybody. It's probably best to not post your live location. You might not have to worry about it too much if you don't have like a following, but, um, even like if you're going on vacation, it's probably best to not post until you get back from vacation as like a regular person because they don't need to know that you're not home, you know? Um, way a little bit later. So like, just don't announce that your house is empty, right? Like just a safe bet. But anyway, <laughs> we don't need to talk about being unsafe anymore. We'll probably go and find someone to write. We finished the first two houses. We did the ones in the front. So tomorrow we'll furnish the ones in the back and then do like last minute decor everywhere and, and terrain paint and all of those all those last touches. Um, and then we'll we'll get it up on the gallery. It is on the gallery now, completely unfurnished if you wanted to download it. I know some people like to download the, the unfurnished version so they could play with it themselves. Um, and what we're gonna do is turn it into a residential rental so we can like have them each be their own house. I'm kind of excited about it. <laughs> um, so that is the plan. Um, it's in Willow Creek. This is just the big 50 by 50 lot in Willow Creek. It's where, um, you know, the Spencer Kim Lewis family lives here. And there's that big Oakenstead empty giant house in Willow Creek. That's where we built this. So, um, anyway, well, that's the thing, right? Flying pig. Like if you see someone in public, it's totally fine to say hi to them. It is not fine to go to their house. <laughs> if you like stumble into me at the grocery store and you're like, oh my God, Kayla, that's fine. That's so normal and fine. If you come to my house, that's not normal and it's not fine. <laughs> not okay. <laughs> if you send things to my house, it's not normal and it's not fine. I have a PO box. <laughs> it's not normal, it's not fine. Don't do that. Um, anyway, it's creepy actually. and It makes me feel scared, but we don't need to talk about it anymore. <laughs> Let's go and uh, find someone to raid, yeah, shall we? <laughs> I think that most people know that, but, you know, there's always somebody, so. Anyway. Oh, actually, speaking of similar vibes, my friend Steven, Spring Sims, is building two houses on one lot. Kind of like what we did today. Um, so Steven is doing something kind of similar. And I have a 52-month resub to share. Oh my god. <laughs> if you all don't know Spring Sims, um, he's a very dear friend of mine. He plays a lot of Sims like we do. Um, Steven was actually my first ever Sims friend. And I'm not kidding. He was, like, the first, uh, like, person in the Sims community that I, that I met and, like, became friends with, kind of, like, talking online. Um, that was obviously many, many years ago at this point. Uh, but he was, like, the first person I ever knew in the Sims community. So, uh, he's a very dear friend of mine and he plays a lot of Sims like like we do. Um, and I think you'll like his streams if you don't follow him. So go over there and say hi. Oh, oh, oh my God. Wait, I'm going to cancel the raid for a second. I have to tell you guys something. Um, everyone, you have to follow. This is unrelated because I don't think Brew is live right now. You have to follow my mod Bruin before I go. Brew, very excitingly, is like this close, very close um, to getting partner. Brew was able to apply for partner the first time yesterday. Um, if you don't follow Brew already, it's very, very difficult to get partner on Twitch. It's very difficult. Um, like most people don't get it on their first time applying, but it's still good to support our friends. So if you don't follow Brew already, I'm gonna link Brew's channel here. Um, it's, it's popping up. It's very hard to get partner. Um, you know, we're not, our hopes aren't too high right now, but we can help. We're, we're on this journey now of the partner application process. So go follow Brew. <laughs> 
Um, go follow Brew for me. Um, it really means a lot to me. Brew is a very dear friend of mine. You probably know about Brew because of the whole um, getting banned on Twitch for joking about men thing. That was them. That was them. Um, so we actually, we owe Brew our lives uh, because <laughs> of that happening. So... <laughs> Anyway, Brew, now the tables have turned and can apply for Twitch partner. Um, so, <laughs> go follow Brew. Um, I'll, I'll make a big deal about that probably for the next few days. We'll keep talking about it. Um, the thing about this, right, you almost have to, like, I, I almost, like, can't raid Brew too much now that they've applied. Because then Twitch will be like, oh, it's just raids. So, we have to be careful. We need to, like... <laughs> We gotta play this smart, okay? <laughs> so shout out today. <laughs> so you go follow them now. Um, so anyway, <laughs> we gotta be we gotta be careful about how we approach this, you know? <laughs> Strategic, right? Uh, but but let's go raid Steven. Um, Steven is a Twitch partner. Doesn't have to worry about that too much. But um, Steven's also a friend of mine, um, and we'll we'll go over and say hi. So. <laughs> <laughs> gotta play the game, gotta mastermind it a bit, yeah. Twitch partner, people have to apply sometimes like five, six, seven, eight times before they actually get partner. It's very annoying, um, but that's okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. Um, I say we like it's like we're all involved. It's Bruce channel, but <laughs> we will get there, we will, it'll be fun. Um, the door is open, we're on our way. Anyway, let's go say hi to, to Steven, um, and Brew's not even live, we're just talking about it right now. And, and I'll see you all tomorrow, we're gonna finish the build tomorrow, yeah? Okay, love you, miss you, see you later, okay, bye everybody, bye! <laughs>